Someone's farting. Are you going to press the other fucking button? Maybe. <laughs> Son of a bitch. This is, you think, it, I, I know you checklist, I know a checklist is a great idea. I can't work with checklists, but at the same point, I'm also stupid. <laughs> so, I, so nothing gets done. Are you ready now? Yes! Oh, okay. Psycho. Hola. Welcome. I don't know how that's going to come across, but it's going to be welcome, everybody. phenomenal. Buenvenidos. I'm smiling. Hi. Hola. I just went through my bipolarism. I was really angry like two seconds ago. Now it snapped out of it. How that Isn't happened. Isn't that amazing? It's almost like I was unable to control my impulses. <laughs> oh, that's not ironical at all. Not ironical at all. Not at all. So, I, don't, I don't like this video thing, bro, but we're going to do it. So broadcasting live from the treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona, everybody. Hashtag treehouse. Welcome to Knocked Conscious. We're going back video. Um, I think we're just sick of the uh, stills. Um, we're going with the one camera you configuration. Are, I don't give a crap. We're in the same room, even though it looks like there's a divider right there, like we're on on the Skype or the Zooms. Right there. It looks like a divider, but look, he's... Oh, <laughs> ow! Poke my eye out! Oh, boy! But it looks like a divider, so we're just going to play it like we're in two different rooms, because it literally does look... Dude, I can cross-check you. You can stick of fury me. We're not... So. I would like to present the stick of fury. <laughs> that is it. Dun, 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 dun. Tell him what he's won. The Stick of Fury. The, the Stick of the Fury. The aforementioned Stick of Fury. Fury de uh, This is not of... social distancing. No. We're, we're socially intimate. Hey, no touching. We're socially intimate. No touching. No touching. Bone. Um, yeah, not conscious, everybody. So. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, it is a nice Sunday, morning. Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> it is right now, but Rock it won't be when we, when we release this. And Rock Sanders is officially Rock Sanders. We saw it. It has been for a, we have, a couple weeks. We have an officially created Ava Stare. No, uh, Look Ava Look. Uh, what, what's I forget who it was, but we officially have a blind <laughs> Ava, what she's looking at and what she sees. And <laughs> ju just to be clear, there's going to be a picture... Kind of what, kind of an overview of what she's looking at. Then kind of, and that's the dog. Then the thing that she's looking We're at. Talking about dogs, right? Yes, the okay. Ava, of course, it's Ava. Well, I, everyone, I, knows I know someone now, with Ava. a dog. I mean, with a person, uh, the child. Oh my God, Mendez. No, mm, uh, a, a yeah. daughter named Ava. Yeah, Ava Mendez is. Mm, I mean, what? She's Eva anyway, or whatever. Anyway, so we have created our blind dog account. Yes. So okay. it'll be the picture have, of the dog looking. Have. It'll be the picture of the dog looking at uh at the object then the object itself if you were to look at it and then the third picture will always be a black square because that's what she actually sees so it'll, be, it'll literally be like oh my god her, dude what she's looking at and a black square it's awesome <laughs> thank you megzy megzy set it up so you know kudos to her very well done megzy Woo. Um, we start off a little light, but you know what? We have fun anyway, even on our serious topics. But this one's pretty serious. Yes. And I'm going to now mount the stick of fury into the holder. We have a stick of fury holder. Done. Oh, I thought you had it like all the I, way I, in. I, I can't. That was nice. It was really secure. Stand by. Here we go. This is like, oh my God. Oh, it's like Plinko. I used to, I was going to oh, say Plinko. You? I'm sorry, man. Unbelievable, bro. $5,000. Um, so seriousness yes and, and with all due seriousness sir what yeah. are we talking about today cte which may i may i try it may i, I can may do I the first it? i can do the first two okay, you do the first I'll chronic take, I'll... traumatic encephalopathy yeah encephalopathy yes encephalopathy yes encephalopathy cte yep chronic what? traumatic encephalopathy is which what it's called. in other words head stuff brain trauma Let's just be extreme. Brain I mean, it's it's a de degenerative disease where the brain, due to multiple head injuries over time, becomes severely degraded. How else would you yeah. want to say it? And it is physical as as far as we know it's from a physical standpoint. We don't know if well, there's it's emotional emotional can create like PTSD. But we don't know if emotional stress can also create some kind of CTE. We don't know that. It's a physical 
injury right, it's from to the head. Multiple yes. Correct. repeated in, uh contact, right? In in correct to the to the head, obviously. Yes. Or you know, head and neck area. Yes, correct. And this one's really important because we we look we watch sports. I mean, every, everyone watches sports at some point, but things have changed. But for you, this is really close. Um, well, both of us have had, well, they're called TBIs, traumatic brain injury. Both of us have had those. And in addition to that, I mean, I played football in high school and I was a diehard football fan, NFL, uh, for decades and decades. My parents had um, LA Rams season tickets for 25 years. So I've been to, I mean, I met the quarterback. I've been to the games for t- tons of times. I went to USC games over and over. You know, I, I got to meet a couple players and go on the field. And so I, I'm a huge football fan since I was born, you know? So seeing some of your heroes that you watch since the, the age of high school grow up and then got some of the guys that I idolize play in the Super Bowl and then they take their own life. That's, that's horrible. Is there a name right off the top of your head that sticks out? Absolutely. I, I know as, which one you're talking about. I think. Uh, as soon as I started, as soon as we decided to do this and I started making notes before uh, Checkmark sent me a, a list of, hey man, maybe you should check out this article. Hey man, check out this video. Before I even looked at anything, before I read anything, you know, New York Times, Washington Post, a little bit of Wikipedia, a TED Talk. Before I did any of that, the first thing I wrote was Junior Seau. The first thing. I knew I knew I, it's exactly where you're going to well, go. Well, he, he's from Southern California, you know, half hour from where I grew up. He went to USC. I saw him play at USC. Played with the Chargers. I mean, he played, played stayed there. linebacker like I did. He was Samoan. I played with the Samoans. In high school, I played with the uncle of Troy Polamalu, who also played at USC, who played uh, with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I had a bunch of Samoan friends. So it was like, I, that was my guy. I loved him. And then he went to the Patriots, and I was never a Patriots fan, but I wanted the Patriots to win the, the Super Bowl that year, whatever year that was, because I wanted Junior Seau to win one Super Bowl, at least. Because the Chargers were never really meaningful i guess whatever you want to say but well they they were in a really tough division their whole life with well, the yeah, raiders broncos, and the chiefs yeah and the broncos correct. who who were always in super bowls i mean when yes. you think from like the 70s on correct yes you're absolutely right so i always liked him i always liked him since the day that i saw him at usc i was like this guy's an animal and he but he was a cool guy down to earth and he, but he hustled and he never gave up and I always admired that about him. Through his entire NFL career, he was like that too. So I, I followed him from the age of 18 until, you know, he, he passed away at the age of 43. And that, that's a long answer to your question. I'm very sorry. And he did it smiling. <laughs> yeah. Like he was like, this, he, yeah. if you were to have a poster child, right now, like Patrick Mahomes, for example, is like sure. a poster child, yeah. right? He's super nice. He he's, hasn't found any flaws. He's talented. He's humble. He's funny. He's, he's down to earth. Junior Seau was just this aw shucks, super sweet. At least that's what we saw. Yeah. He may have been different behind closed doors, but that's what we saw. Never missed a game. Like, when you yeah. look that he killed himself, he right. never missed a game. He, How the heck could you have not, how could you have this thing without a con- being out ever for a concussion? And the answer is probably he's had them and he oh. never told anybody, right? Yeah, I mean, of that's course. pretty obvious. And that was opinion. also, I mean, he was. He was in, the, I think he got drafted in the NFL in 92 or 93, something around there. So it, it was a different age. It was. So you didn't, you know, the but term yeah. was you got your bell rung. Right, you got and your you bell just, rung. you just, okay, you got up and you kept playing. Yeah. That's just the deal. That's what, that's what happened to me. So you just, that's what, that's the deal. But that answers your question. Junior Seau. Absolutely. I knew. I knew. I, I, I'm just not surprised that, you would know. Just because of the, the whole connection with yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, he grew and, up right right a half hour from me. And and my understanding, he shot himself in the chest so he could get his brain uh, t- uh, d- diagnosed, right? With Dissected. a shotgun. Yeah. Can you believe that? that no. Ha- ha- have, you, has you, have you ever heard of somebody committing suicide with a shotgun in the chest? No. 
Kurt Cobain's the only other but one, but he it's did in the it. face, in the yeah, mouth. Exactly. Well, he was, I think he was murdered. That's my well, opinion. Well, I mean, we should talk about that later, but <laughs> I've never, ever, theory. ever heard of somebody shooting themselves in the chest. Correct. Let no, alone with a shotgun or with any weapon. No. But in the chest? No, that's, it's ridiculous. That's, that's an unheard of. It sounds completely illogical. Yeah. Like, you would, you would think you just take a handful of pills. Like, I don't think that would affect your brain. Well, that's what it's, um, uh, I, I read. A couple other players have done that. Just easier. They, they, it's just so much they easier. They took some pills. Take some opioids. Stop breathing. Right. You know? I, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make light of that. I'm. Well, right. I'm just saying. If I'd be, I'd take the chicken way out. I'm. I don't think a cutting or or explosions in my face are. I don't think I have the guts for. Or that. even in crazy. your chest. Anywhere. Any explosion that would hurt. Yeah. No. I. I'd, I'd, I'd rather just fade away. I have to agree with you. Okay, and so junior why? Seo. And so we talk about Junior Seau, and he'll come up multiple times, I'm sure, during the conversation. What about CTE to you specifically really touches you, though? Like, what what's happened in your life that that makes you want to look at this subject a little closer? And why we're trying to expose this to everyone or share this with everyone? Uh, first of all, I've had headaches since I was I'm a kid, since I was like seven. Not, I mean, not severe. They've never stopped me from. I mean, I'm, I don't call in sick for work because, oh, my head hurts. I don't have migraines. I mean, I've gone to multiple doctors. I have headaches. Oh, oh here's some Advil. This bitch, she gave, me, she gave me some fucking Advil. I'm like, bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I already have, like, that in my chest. It's in the car. And, you, know, you know how you say, like, 800 milligrams? Well, mine are 200, and I take four of them anyway. So. Yeah. I don't need your prescription. I help. know how Thank to you. do math. <laughs> I can do the maths. God. So uh, I've had headaches since I was probably my seven. My favorite. Hey, would you? Do you I'm going to prescribe you 800 milligram ibuprofen. Um, I have 200s at home. I'll just take four of them. I yeah. Think I, thank you I for the copay. Bitch. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, I'm not bitter about that. Um, no. So I've had headaches since I was a kid. Since I was like seven. So I about a couple years ago, I thought, did something happen to me before the age of seven? That did I fall on my head? Did I? run into something did did something happen to me that i don't remember that because i i saw uh a kid or well, the video you sent me a kid fell down the stairs at the age of three and they called it a mild traumatic brain injury but yet that kid had massive emotional problems and and they did a brain scan of him at the age of 15 oh that's oh my god it's because we're in different rooms i can do that oh my. you can't knock it out of my hand well, I, I have this fear of spilling because of my dad. So anyway, um, I, I, uh, first three of all, three-year-old down the stairs, mild, but at three, yeah, like you, at when at your three. brain's developing and it got and it gets a trauma like that, yes. everything else develops around that. That becomes Correct. your foundation. Correct. Shaky foundation, we know, right? Right. Buildings. Yeah, you're building crap. on sand, so that's exactly. really really bad. Um, and then, so I've had headaches since I was a kid. Okay. And then, um, and I apologize to my lovely ex-wife that may listen to this because she's sick of this story. Uh, eight years ago, I had a fall at work. Uh, I was plugging phones in and the world started to go gray. Like it, the, it closed in and, um, i i I fell and I'm missing about three hours of my life. I don't remember what I was told was, um, I fell, I was, um, uh, conscious but i don't remember it i was conscious and i was uh screaming and cussing so that totally sounds like me no <laughs> right uh, i cracked my skull back here and i had an aneurysm and a brain bruise and a severe concussion and the fall caused me to have a seizure so a couple of friends uh held me down because they were concerned i was going to get up and then try to walk down the stairs at work and i would fall again yeah. so they called 911 and they took me to the hospital, which I don't remember that at all. I will, I came, became aware in the ER, and I was I was like in a helicopter that was going down. I was spinning like like vertigo. Yeah, it was. You, it, I guess it was uh, vertigo it was, or something. It was the worst vertigo. I've, yeah, I mean, right. I can possibly of describe. what you would think vertigo would be if you were because to yeah, because it. three hours earlier I had just, I mean, I fell you know what i mean and so my boss at the time he was in the conference room right outside where i fell and he said it sounded like somebody dropped an air conditioner on the roof of the building you know and i'm like 210 pounds but you are a you're a dense individual you don't do anything like 
<laughs> Let me put it this way. You wouldn't be a ninja. You wouldn't be a good ninja, man. What? I'm so silent. You're just heavy footed, bro. I am? You were silent here. Yes. But heavy footed. You're mighty. I'm heavy footed? I'm not, it's okay. I don't know. You got nothing. I so he know. said, but that, he goes, it sounded like someone dropped an air conditioning unit on the roof, but that was my head hitting the concrete. Hitting the you roof. Know, the carpet is Rock. this thin. You know, yeah. any corporate building is yeah. this thin, right? So, um, pretty, pretty much. Uh, they did a CT scan, MRI, and there was a golf ball size gray mass in my brain back here. And the uh, there's a neuro two neurologists and a neurosurgeon, and they said they don't know if the fall caused that mass or if I got the mass from the fall. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I've had headaches and and dizziness ever since then. The last it's been eight years, but since the past two three years, they've been significantly better i mean i'll go now six eight ten weeks without a headache and they're not bad they they're, they're the headaches aren't bad they just last 12 or 14 hours but they yeah, definitely they're droney they, they just grate on you yeah. they're not bad i never i don't miss work i don't miss no, the gym but they're so long they just outlast <sighs> your willpower at yeah that time. so the end of the day i'm a total asshole I mean, I'm just grumpy and I'm just, I, I'm not a nice person to be around because I'm emotionally and physically exhausted because well, it it's makes just, you short. Yes. I mean, but yes. we, we, all of us do our, our, our patience, our demeanor, yes. our, our calmness, our lucidity. It just disappears with fatigue for I, sure. I become very, very short tempered Yeah, and that's, and I'm really sorry for that for to you and to my dear friends and and to the people that I love and love that that I was a real prick for a long time. We roll with it because we know who you are. That wasn't you. Yeah, I was not intentional obviously. Um, so Well, there are two stories that, you know, you know, here we go again. I'm going to mention a Joe Rogan cuz he just oh has everybody on. But he mentioned Sam Kinison oh, yeah. in his brother's book. Uh, he said Kinison got hit by a car at a very young age and he said from that moment on Yes. Completely different. Yes, I've I've read also, that too. Also, Roseanne Roseanne Barr Barr O'Donnell, whatever the hell, Roseanne, yeah, Roseanne Barr. Yeah, right, right. Roseanne Barr also was hit and then went to a mental institution. Was getting electroshock therapy back then. They what? were feeding her all full of meds. They put her into a mental ward after she got hit by a car because she was because she had something happen go on something go on and it just exacerbated it. So like. You talk about her short temper, how she just goes off the rails, like the, the national anthem thing, right? Or the things she tweets. Like these are direct results of some brain, wow, you know, inability to just. But the creativity that comes out of it also, right? Because yeah. she's she, she's hilarious, right? And Sam was when she's on, yeah. she right, just like Sam. Sam, was my, on, Sam was my idol. He when, still is, right? And when they're on, they're on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. those are two. Um, I like to share too. Thank Please. you to your ex-wife as well, because I believe she's the one who yeah, reached out to me when you did get hurt. I don't remember what day I went. I think it was the first day. It may have been the next day because your ex-wife wanted to be like, be really careful. About yeah. Bring everybody in or whatever. But you, I get a text from her and she says, Hey, this happened. We rush over, man. And I, I saw you. And you had rug burns on your shoulders yeah. and elbows because Blood. people were like kneeling on you Correct. to hold you down because you are a strong MFer. Like, I can't imagine ha you having a seizure and me trying to even like corral you in any way. And I weigh over 200 pounds, so I couldn't even see it. But um, yeah, I can't imagine that type of thing. So I thank her again. She's, she was. She's a good person. Yeah, she's, she's a great a good chick. person. Um, she was a fucking rock star, dude. Yeah, she was absolutely amazing. And that we had brunches celebrating the anniversary. Yeah, when I, <laughs> uh, you know, when I finally got off my seizure meds, it was a little victory. And you know, man, it was rough for 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 eighteen months. It was really fucking rough, dude. Because I just wasn't me. Yeah. You know, I wasn't the brain injury, and then the seizure meds on top of that. The seizure meds, they, they, what the neurologist said, the meds, they cap your personality because that's, it's capping the seizures. So that also like. Yeah, it takes a little off the top. Right. So everything that I loved, I didn't want to watch baseball anymore. I didn't want to drink beer anymore. That's the interesting thing about these drugs, right? We talk about like an emotion thing. Yeah, we want to feel great. But the only reason we know what great is because we know what shit feels like. 
True. Right? Yeah. It's all relative, right? The thing is, it then takes the tops and the lows, and you're just in this middle. Yeah. So oh, you're yeah, not yeah. really living. Yeah. I mean, you're just, uh, you, you don't experience the highs nor the lows. That was a, that's a great yeah. way to, I never thought about it like that. That's all, it's that's a great always way, how I've tried to an- analogize it, uh, is to say it that way. Is like, you can't know what great is until you know what awful is. If you always lived in okay, your great would be, it would have to be pretty high to be great compared to okay. Yeah. Uh, it's all relative. Yeah. All, I, everything's yeah. relative. Um, and that's what like relativity and you had this experience i've had personal experience i flew out of a car windshield uh when i was 13 cracked my head as well uh concussion had a airbag blow up in my face from another car accident had a um, station wagon door slammed on my head by accident closed i ducked my head in right as they were closing it uh when i was about eight or ten you know stuff happens um, my head's, yeah, I have outbursts as well. You, you see me just lose it. Um, uh, it's all verbal. Thank goodness. Um, but it's still pretty nasty. So, yeah. So this CT comes up. We've talked about PTSD. Obviously there's a physical aspect of that. There's also an emotional aspect of PTSD where you lose cogn- you know, a cognitive ability more to control yourself. Right. Yeah. Um, so where do we want to go from here, sir? I don't know. Where do we want to go from here, sir? Well, I have many notes. Where do you right, let, let's start with your notes. Then, oh, that's man. exciting. I love it. Do you want to hear? Can we, can we talk about something funny? Yes. Yes. I like. Fun. So one of the notes that I, uh, I, I, here we go. This is amazing, dude. You ready? Yes. A number of people believe CTE was a disease involving only boxers, not the dogs. Sorry, not hmm. Team Smushy Face, but the people that put on gloves and hit each other. Boxerluv.org, everyone? Yeah. Yes. Although cases have been identified in a person with ep- epilepsy, a woman who was battered, two people who exhibited head-banging behaviors, which I'll come back to that. Okay, this is the best part. Check mark, you ready? I'm listening. And a circus performer from Australia who was involved in in what medical reports refer to as, quote, dwarf throwing. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Look at yeah. it. <laughs> dwarf throwing. That is, I mean, it's amusing. Is the is it the dwarf that was affected I by the CT? I assume so. Because, like, head first, like, rush. I'm like, like those poor people. Dwarfs. Yeah, that's it is. Fun. Remember, we talked about dwarfism. It's I, real. It's like a, that's a legitimate I, I, word. I, I, I know, but... To don't throw the dwarfs, no, man. Don't, no more. Th- I think that's been <laughs> well, maybe not in Australia. Wow, I was like, oh my god, maybe that's not cool. Don't do that. Do you ever hear the story in Australia about um, whoever goes to the bathroom last or leaves the stool to go to the bathroom last buys the uh, gets all their beers bought for them? Yes. Have you ever heard the story of how they do that? No. Australians are weird, bro. Okay. They probably still throw dwarfs. Oh, because <laughs> what they'll do is they'll sit there and they'll just pee their they'll just pee themselves. Oh night. my god! No joke. I've I've first hand anecdotal evidence. I was not there. I've fir- it's first hand, not me. Or I guess second hand then. Second hand. Third. No, third would be you told someone who told me. Okay, I'm so sorry. And then you told someone who told someone who told someone who told me. Uh, uh, and it's, uh, it I, keeps going. It's like cousins. Are we gonna edit this out? No. Damn it. Never. So I, I, I don't think, listen to this until we actually release it to the I, public, I and it's scary because the stuff that that comes out of my mouth at times that I don't remember. You're like, did I say that? Yeah, did I say All that? All right. So I think there's one there's one point that I failed to mention earlier. Um, that what exactly? How does the brain work? So for those that don't know, the brain is soft. I mean, that's, I think that seems obvious, but maybe not everyone knows. And your skull is hard. So what causes the brain injury is your brain moving around inside of your head. So when the brain hits the front or the back or the side of your skull, that's what causes the injury. And the reason why I say that is because I found this, this sentence was like, it hit me like a, somebody hit their head. The, uh, did you get knocked conscious? It, absolutely. Hard. Mm-hmm. So hard. Mm-hmm. See, the, see, the the analogy was acceleration of the head on impact. 
I went, holy crap. If you're referring to your head accelerating, that's really bad. Yeah. That's really, really, really bad. What's funny is it's technically decelerating in most cases. Because it's a certain, going, because you're yes. a speed and it's actually yes. at a hitting, point, so it's accelerating from the back to the front, correct. usually, Co or correct. I mean, it could be from the front to the back of your hip from behind, but generally it's, it's, uh, that kind of combative. Yeah. Kind or, of trauma. I mean, like you said, your head on a windshield, right? or it's not always, or like my head on the concrete. Well, welcome to know? Einstein, right? We've got the relativity oh, yeah. thing. So you're running at 10 miles and 10 to 15, you're sprinting 10, 15, 20. I don't know how fast we all run. Somebody else is running 15 and you're 15. That's 30. That when you hit each other, that is a 30 mile an hour collision. Correct. And that is, have you ever been bumped by a car at like two miles an hour? Yeah, it's, it's, I get instant headaches. Or, I mean, that's probably from the trauma, but um, it's jarring. Just yes. even at two miles an hour. Absolutely. So imagine 15 times that, just for an example. Unbelievable. Yes. And it is that. It's the, basically the rattling. The way I always looked at it is, you know those uh, Sharpies that have the metal in them? You have to... Yeah. Or a spray oh, can. Dude. Spray can, right? And the, the paint or whatever's inside, the ink, is your brain. And I'm sorry, the, that's the fluid, right? And then the ball is just smashing it all up around. So it's just all... Yeah, that's a great analogy. Uh, Another, it's loose, but it's a, I'll but take it's it. It's true. I'll take it. Uh, and a symptom of the CTE is that uh, it affects part of the brain that controls impulses, decision making, and reasoning. I had three state or three pieces that right it affects is one is the reasoning impulses and everything because that's yes. the big one Impulse we're going to talk about. Yeah. The second one's motor skills, and the third one is like cognition. Yeah. So it's kind of like I don't remember things. That's your cognition stuff. Like you wake up tomorrow and you don't remember your name or something. That's forgetfulness a is cognitive. That's a cognitive, cognitive thing. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Sure. Yeah, because okay. it's because it's about processing information, right? You don't. You can't access the information of what your name is, so it becomes a cognitive issue. Um, motor skill would obviously be like your hand shakes or something. You can't make a fist or so you yes. can't stand up or yes. you're shaky, right? Yes. Um, and then the third one, obviously, is the one that is really important because this is the one to which you just you initially talked. You apologize for something that happened to you, for an event that you experienced. Not for something necessarily within your control. And we'll talk about yeah. what level of control that is, right? Yeah. yeah. You are sorry. You truly are sorry for how you acted. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. But it's really hard to say, that was he really intentional. It wasn't an intent. No. Right? And I, I mean, stuff came flying out of my mouth, and immediately I was like... You regret it. Oh, fuck, yeah. I'm so sorry. I do that as well. I will just go, ah, and I will lose it. And Megzy knows is like she's like uh, something happened. She'll just know something. There was a trigger of some sort, and uh, it's interesting because we're going to talk about a couple of people who have CTE, a, a number of people who have CTE. So, after your note about a dwarf being tossed into a wall <laughs> repetitively, yes, where are we at, my friend? Um, the another note I had was that. For a long time, this was referred to as being punch drunk. Yes. Because, it, as I mentioned previously, it was considered a boxing issue, right? Yeah. But then, as I grew up, it was, oh, he just had his bell rung. Yeah. And I remember specifically playing high school ball, playing linebacker, and this the line opened, and this running back came through the line, and he put his helmet right in my chest. I mean, right in my numbers. And I... The next thing I knew, I was looking up at the sky. Like, did anybody get the number of that truck? You know, it was like, whew. so Jeff Martinez. Where'd who go? I, I, exactly. That's I, exactly. What you it like. was. So I, I'll never forget, you know, they, they snapped the ball <laughs> and the line opened and then there he was. And, oh, it's fine. And everybody knew me as Woodsy, you know, and it's fine. Uh, he just had his bell rung. But now when you have your bell rung, is it a concussion? They take your helmet and they make you go to the, to get tested. Checked right. With so a third party doctor now in most cases, not every. Yeah. Is but, it? A but in sports, let's, let's just do football, both college and NFL. What do you think the monetary gains of a, a victory is? Oh, think about it. Last yeah. night, 
yesterday Penn State loses in that overtime controversial two pointer thing, right? Oh, I, I, sure. It does. It's 2020. It was October 24th. It doesn't matter. They lose um, in overtime. Indiana to Indiana. Okay. Um, Indiana goes for two, and you can watch the last thing. It doesn't matter. The point is that loss is millions of dollars in recruitment. Uh, future endorsements, boosters. The you're, you're zero and one now. Go to. You are now zero and one in a already truncated COVID ridden season. COVID ridden, and you're playing Ohio State next week. So think about that. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could you could literally be zero and two, and that's like twenty million. You know, I don't even know yeah, the monetary uh, money. Of course. On that. So when someone does get hit, where and you're you know, let's say your best player, they're nudging you back in, man. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't know. I like the third party idea, but sometimes I don't trust that. I agree. I agree with you completely. Because the system, right? It's yeah. another system issue where, yeah. where this system is set up that you need a victory, not that you need to actually educate your ch- the, the the sports athletes, right? Well, that's a different story. Well, right. But, but my point topic. is, you need a you need a victory. So you will do anything to win. That will mean, that means if you if you got a little bit of a headache, you're still playing. I liked it better when you looked at me and not at the fucking camera. I'm looking at you, bro. No, you're right not. You're looking there. at yourself. Oh, no, I'm looking at you. You are? Yeah. I'm looking at you this way. No, I'm looking at you. And you're looking you. at me that right. way. It's like looking and in the mirror. And the people mirror. on iTunes can't know what we're doing right now. <laughs> think about this. <laughs> <laughs> think about, okay, think about this, ladies and gentlemen. You and I. Yes, all of us. We, we, oh my God, we both had to go to the bathroom so to pat our noses. So we're in the mirror and we're talking. And that's how I'm oh. looking at you. See, think of it like that. I'm, that's why I flip see, the screen around. I keep around. looking at you. I know, and I keep, I keep sit doing it, and then forcing myself to okay, look at you. Okay, I guess I need to look at you that look way. Look at me in the reflection, bro. Oh, hi. Yeah, Should we get hi. a big mirror? Oh, a mirror. A big, not a big mirror, but no, a big mirror. <laughs> no, no, because it's right there. Can't you see? Just I can just, see you. Just oh. point, point at this thing. Mira. Point at this bulbous head right there. It's not that bulbous. And I'll, I'll point at this little guy. The baldy, little guy. baldy Balderson. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Okay. Only twice. Okay. Sorry about the tangent. No, no. Tangents are, are welcomed. Okay. We This is heavy topics because like we're going to get deep and, and I might cry a little bit. It's too late, bro. We're already deep. Oh, yeah. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Um, Mira? No. Uh, uh, football? <laughs> oh, just it's a monetary yeah, thing. Yeah, like, we, do we know, I don't, man? I just, yeah, so it's really tough. But you're right. But right now, technically, there's a third party that comes in and can take a player out of the game, which is awesome. Yes. I love it. Yes. They've made a lot of strides. And do you they, do you do you truly believe that? Or do you think it's a show? Yeah, but I think everything's a show though. Okay, that's but, the question. But but it is it is a legit thing. I just don't know what the doctor's motivations are. Like even his personal bias or her personal bias. Yes, yes. His or her personal bias. Right. My apologies. Yeah. I get into football, I get I get alpha. Apologize. Um Whichever one that could have a stake in the game or could have a stake in the player could be dating, you know what I mean? Could, yeah, or whatever. I don't know. It needs to win, right? Once, once that team to win. Do you remember when the refs came in? They had like backup refs for two games. The guy scores a touchdown, and the refs like, awesome. He's on my fantasy football team. What? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, that was like two, three years ago. Remember the refs Shut went on up. strike? Yeah, the ones went on strike, and the one guy like he's asking for the guy's autograph. You know, it's like weird stuff because they're in they're NFL? starstruck. Yeah, I didn't it was, know that. It was the first two, three games of one Pro, season. I don't, yeah, but it was like a news. It was a bigger news thing. Okay, but the first two, three games of one season, um, they had huh. they had fill in refs, and but they had them like you know, they're guys that played in like college or whatever. But they can they can have fantasy football teams because they don't not yeah, directly invest. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're fill ins. Yeah, and the guy scores a touchdown. He's like, yeah, that's six points for my fantasy football team, and then they're asking like Russell Wilson for you know his autograph and stuff because it's you know. You get a little fanboy. Why wouldn't of you? Of course. Yeah, I would. So anyway, back to the back to the lecture at the hand. Topic at hand. Um, cog, cog, it's not the cognitive. It's the behavior one we're talking about. Can you re, rephrase that again or restate the, uh, the issue? The three points I had is that CTE, the way it affects the brain, it controls the impulses, decision making, decision making. And reasoning, right? That's the degradation of those three things over over many years. The repetitive hits 
involved in sports. And it's not just football. So, And I got notes on that. I mean, soccer players. So- that, soccer. I was going to talk about the real football. Yeah. It is worse because head balls, they don't even address that. And the kicks to the head. Head to head as yep. well. And Two head guys head. going up Correct. to try to head the same ball. Without any he- protection. Yeah, and it's head on head. I mean, like, it's skull on yeah. skull. They're not wearing rugby helmet, those little no. hats. They're not wearing no. any kind of protection at all. So I know soccer, and I it's uh, crazy. obviously hockey is incredibly violent. Hockey as well, especially, I, I've seen people get concussion from like the pucks hitting them. Well, yeah. At the 100 huck, miles an the hour. The pucks going 105. Yep. Yeah, so. I've got, a, I've got a couple of players that we're going to talk about but, from the hockey I mean, realm. also, if you think about how fast can a hockey player skate? Yeah, over 20, 30, I was going to say it was over 20. 20 so I don't know. 20, I'm not a, let's say I, I mean, I like hockey, but I'm not a big t- hockey dude. You're talking about up to 50 mile an hour hit if you're going well, okay, 25 so each. It, you're talking a hockey player who he, the lightest hockey player is 210. And then you've got all their gear. The skates are like 95 pounds. So the, and then the guy, he's going full speed. And then you check someone into the boards. Mm-hmm. And then the guys, if the guy's head goes into the board... There's no, it's not, I've been thinking about this for a while because there's, the NFL has been saying, oh, we're making improvements on helmets. We're doing as much as we can. We're trying to be safe. And that's cool. I don't believe them for a second, but I appreciate their message, right? So I believe they want to do it. And then they see the bottom dollar. And correct. Go, eh, we that's can wait a different a story. Well, right. Okay, that's a whole other thing. The point though. is this. I believe that any helmet cannot stop the brain from moving inside the skull that's the root issue it is actually the root issue yes the 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 cushion (laughs) the cushion of the head of the skull to the other object to the wall or to the board is not the problem it's the motion of the brain inside the skull smashing up against the skull that cannot be there's no there is, is it no, ironic that my motorcycle helmet's right there um, i love it i was i, I was, was like, like uh that was I, that wasn't intentional but um hey boo so it, you, there's no helmet there yeah. is nothing it there's no. no way to stop the brain from moving right. inside the skull because when if you you do this this doesn't hurt no it's if you went like this. What were you just brain, doing? You want to just tell people what you're doing? Uh, I was knocking. You myself were knocking on your like skull. Knocking on wood. Hang on. Just on my temple, like my front. You know where it's like hard. It's like you you feel it, but it's not like that hurts. But if you were to actually have full force and like smack your head into a wall, right? Then the brain would create. It would smash into the inside. Would smash into the inside of the skull. That's the trauma. Yes. That you experience. And to. Tambian. For, to Tambian. Yes. Oh, you beat me to it. To further that point, the one of the studies that I read stated that the NFL linemen, they hit each other head to head. Oh, yeah. 62 times per game. At the force of, of hitting a brick wall at 32 miles per hour. 32? 30... Miles it's almost per like hour. 37. Pretty close to 37. So NFL linemen, on average, the study stated, they hit each other. An NFL lineman gets hit in the head 62 times per game. So they smack themselves, they headbang thir- at 30 mi- 32 miles an hour 30 into mi- a wall 30 62 miles, times. 62 times that per game, 30 miles per hour. 62 <sighs> times per game with the force of hitting a brick wall at 30 miles per hour. So the <sighs> issue is that what... <sighs> What are the long-term effects of that? So that NFL player, so he gets drafted out of college at, say, 22. It could be 21, it could be 23, whatever. Let's say 22. At that point, that player has already been playing in college for three to five years. Okay, so he's already... 50 games. Let's just say 50 Let's just say 50. That's great. Maybe 40, maybe 60, Let's say 50 and 60 times. Let's do 50 and 60. It makes it 3,000. Then he played high school ball probably for, if he's in the NFL, he probably started all four years. Right. Most likely. And then he probably played Pop Warner. Right. I'm guessing. And practices. Yes. And all the, even because back then they can't, there was contact. Oh yeah, it was, it was. It's not like, it's not like that now. Correct. But it used to be a lot more contact. Correct. So that, that, that 22 year old has already on his first NFL practice has already taken a thousand hits to the head i've already done the math so 50 okay. games at 60 a game that's 
three thousand already. Oh my god! Oh yeah, and then no. you just just no. double it for the rest of this. Fifty times sixty is not three thousand. That's three hundred. No, it's thirty hundred. Thirty hundred. Yeah, zero zero and thirty. Damn it! Do I need to get a calculator? No, you're right. You're correct. You're Hold three thousand. Are you sure? No. Now, I, now I feel awful. Let's let's do it. So we said fifty times sixty. Yeah, you're right. It's three thousand. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it's you're right. You're I'm right. Sorry, you're right. You're I'm right. sorry, YouTube world. Okay, I'm, I was wrong. Okay. I apologize. Okay. No, that's check okay. Mark, no, no, we're cool. Doctor check look, mark of mathematics. Look, I I told you it is a mess. Yes, it is a mess. So fifty. They have fifty games times sixty hits per game. So that is three thousand. Let's let's extrapolate that and say another three thousand through the other career. They probably run a little slower when they little, so they not hit so hard. <laughs> but they also softer, so they bang around a little more. So say three thousand, three thousand. This man had six thousand car accidents at thirty miles an hour before he even started NFL. So he's already the, the issue of CTE is it develops over time. You gonna tell people what your coffee cup says? Check mark. My coffee cup reads, "I hate being this sexy, but I'm from Czech Republic. I can't help it." Happy birthday to Czech Mark! Thank you for the birthday. One gift. month ago. Fucking Libras. So, Never going back. Sorry. Okay. So the issue of CTE is that it's not a one-time thing. It's not hey. Chris fell at work and he cracked his skull one time. Right. It's a repetitive, slowly over days, weeks, months, years, decades. These people, and it's not obviously. There's female soccer. There's you know there's ladies sports where women are just as prone to this as, as men. Obviously, ladies don't play in the NFL. So and, and the NFL is the most. They do have female football leagues. They, they do, and I've seen. Like oh, legit, it's, brutal. it's legit. Oh, yeah, 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 I actually, yeah. I actually think they're more vicious than than men. I I do. I've seen like like the competitive spirit. It is on. They are. They're all in. Like it's I, like I, roller yes. derby. It's yeah, like I the agree. roller I've derby thing. It, and I agree. Yes. it's amazing. No, I'm just saying. I I we're this is we're trying to I just agree. be clear yes. about. It's, it's not, not a man woman thing correct. or whatever. It's gender neutral for yes, sure. Absolutely. Because this affects everyone. Correct. It's yeah. any brain. Absolutely. Regardless of. Who is, whose brand it is. Yeah. So yeah. Um, the issue with CTE is that it develops over time. And one of the the surveys, not surveys, uh, studies that I read today, it, it, it takes 30 to 50 years sometimes for the symptoms to show up. Right. For it, for it, because it's, sometimes it takes that long. Right, sometimes it's, it's and way, it way, switched. way sooner. It could just be like, boom. Correct. So it's, it's the yeah. constant batting of the head against something whether it's another yeah. human or whatever well what's interesting about that too is you didn't just have the tbi you did not have that one incident you obviously played football as well yeah you were you had and you were knocked out you know you were yeah i know <laughs> for a fact i was standing i remember i was in a ford festiva that little hatchbacky little thing yeah, yeah, yeah. uh working with a rental car company that i for whom i worked at some point, and there were four of us in the car because we were Did you going OJ? to pick up cars. No, you, truth, truth didn't hurt. You didn't mean no, OJ. The no hurts commercials. The no, different one. Doesn't matter because <laughs> they're, they're all they're all like shit boxes. Uh, but uh, so we're in this thing, and I'm scooted all the way, scotted, scooted, Scott, scooted, whatever. Correct. I'm I in got the you. Driver's seat or passenger side on the front, all the way up because the four of us are trying to cram in this little S box. Shit and box? we, our person is stupid and incompetent. You mean a former employee? And, yes. Hit, hit a car probably at 25 miles an hour in that thing. And the airbag hit me. I didn't hit the airbag. Oh. It knocked me back. My glasses got like plastered in my face. Like this Dude. crooked angle. I remember getting up, you know, like it's gunpowder. So it smokes. I remember opening the door and just standing there like. Were your ears ringing? He, I, I honestly, I saw, I just was like in a daze. The yeah. best way I can explain it, and I'm sorry, it's not, I'm not belittling like saving Private Ryan, but the guy got his yeah, arm blown off. Yeah, the very off, first scene. Where he picks his arm up and yeah. he's just kind of looking like walking around like a zombie. Yeah. I just felt like that in the head, like like a zombie. And and then it kind of came back to me and the woman in the back's like, let me out, Mark, let me out. I got to get out because it was smoking. She was safe. Thank goodness, but it wasn't on fire. But there was still smoke from the she from thought the airbag. it was bad smoke. Right, well, she had right. to be. Well, she wanted to get out too. Like who knows, right? Right. Like, and I just remember, like, because it was only a two door kind of thing. So, I, uh, I that one was bad. 
that was obviously after the one I was 13 and I flew out of a car windshield at like 50 miles an hour Jesus, on the concrete. Dude. So don't recall a lot of that. And that's where we go into the spiritual thing. We'll talk about sometime maybe in the future. <laughs> I never know. But um, yeah, many, many blows to the head and severe blows to the head. I've got a scars and everything. Like, even when I cut my hair, you can see it. It's sexy. It gives character. Thanks, bro. But no, it's, and it, it happened, right? This is nothing like this isn't a cry baby story. This is just holy crap. If I had known that it did that, I could be more aware of my actions. Because to your point, behavioral issues, right? Like right. snapping, like yeah. losing your shit, like at the drop of a hat. Right. Um, so but what, there is a direct uh, correlation between a head injury and behavioral issues issues absolutely i mean short even ptsd tempered, yeah and, uh, and how i mean depression anxiety yeah. i mean er, nearly every emotional imbalance well let's reflect that every traumatic brain injury can lead to emotional every emotional imbalance mm -hmm. whether it's anxiety i mean like we people, it can lead it can lead the brain to not do what it's supposed to correct, normally be doing correct how about that you know correct, what I mean? correct absolutely just not functioning the way it should be yes so what do we have next on, on the notes, sir? La la la. La la la. La la la. And we're going to talk about some play, la, like la, some, la, la, la. some, it's going to be athletes basically that we're going to talk la, about because it's crazy. We mentioned soccer and hockey. We um, did mention soccer. And, and the thing about hockey too, even then, uh, the, the helmet, even though it might help a little bit or something, I don't know, right? But the helmet for hockey has not advanced in any way. Over like forty years, is this or at least other sports tried. Yes. Is the helmet for hockey more about hey, let's make sure they don't get cut, like no bleeding? It was it was a PR move. Okay, no one wore a helmet, right? Whatever, but people get hit in the head with a puck. I yeah. mean that you know they're laying down and stuff, and they get popped or you know hitting the boards. It hurts. So yeah. any uh, like a little thin protection made sense. So it's more of a PR thing. That's why it's kind of thin. Hockey players are tough, man. They eat pucks. The, the, a guy they took lose teeth. Yeah, guy lost seven and came back in the game. Jesus. Uh, Perrier, Perrier, I think it was really. Uh, La Perrier. Water? La Perrier. La Perrier. Sparkling water. Lost seven chiclets, bro. <laughs> in, the, in the mouth. First period. I think he was out in the third period. Stitches and everything. Oh, God. He j Dude, guys are warriors. Ho well, I'm not saying Hockey's they're bitches. Hockey's a different breed. No, I no. understand that. That's my point, though. So it was a PR thing for people to watch the sport because it was people always saw hockey as a kind of semi-barbaric, right? Who lets fights happen? Who lets people get hit with sticks, right? Like, it was a big thing, right? Back in the day, 70s, it was just a big PR thing. So then they transition. Now they all have, not they all have face masks. I think all rookies have to wear face masks as they come in. Is that just but it, the can, half? It's the half? It's at least, yeah, the eye cut. It has the to cover the clear plexiglass, eye. right? Yes. Okay. Generally the clear, it can be a cage if you want. Right, but nobody but does that. I think one or two, maybe if they had a broken jaw or something, they might wear that uh, because they play with broken jaws. They're nuts. Uh, I mean, in a great way. But yeah, it's a half thing, and I think all rookies have to do it now, but you can be grandfathered. So if you played before the visor, you don't have to wear right, the visor. Right. But those will get phased out 10, 10 years. Yeah. Everybody, everybody else, they might have full cage mask started rolling in in 10 years. Of Just, course. It's a good idea. I mean, it's smart. Look, if it, it doesn't affect your vision and it protects your face from getting hit in the puck, like by a puck, why? how's that a bad idea? I mean, I know you're tough. Trust me. I've seen the toughness. Yeah. Don't need to prove it to me. I don't need people spin out chiclets in their hand to prove to oh, me how God. tough they are. Can we stop with the teeth, dude? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we're going to talk about that uh, no, when we talk about super superstitions, bro. <laughs> Did you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Okay. I didn't even think about all that. But. All right. Let's go down your list of players. Okay. So. Or do you want to talk about Aaron Hernandez first? Um, I think Hernandez is, is a good one. Uh, we'd spoil it now. So let's just talk about Hernandez. Okay. So for those that don't know, Aaron Hernandez, uh, he played for the uh, Patriots of New England. He played at the University of Florida. He's originally from Connecticut. He was convicted of uh, murder in Massachusetts in like 2012, like a month after he signed a $40 million contract. Uh, he killed, he was convicted of killing a semi-professional football player and friend of his, and he killed himself. He hung himself in prison uh, two years after that. So he, at the age of 27, 
His brain was dissected, which is how you find out if someone has CTE. I guess we should have said that earlier, 40 minutes ago. We're getting into it now. How, how, how CTE is determined is post-mortem, an amazingly awesome Slayer song. Of course it is. And, that, and that's the challenge, right? I mean, the biggest challenge is how do we know about CTE until the person's brain is dissected? At this point, we don't. Currently. Correct. At this, at this moment, that is correct. So Mr. Hernandez was said to have the worst case of CTE ever for anyone under the age of 40. And he was 27. And he was 27. So he, but he was, he played tight end, which is, I mean, every, let's, that's a stupid sentence. Every, it doesn't matter what he played. Every position is violent in the NFL. Every, and he won a national title with uh, that guy. At Florida. Florida. Who's the guy? Want, I'm not going to acknowledge him. Why not? Because he's an asshole. Tim Tebow? No. Oh, Tim Tebow. No, <laughs> Tim Tebow's a really nice guy. Yeah, I was like, why do you hate Tebow? Play man, coach. Yeah, no. Coach Urban, he's an asshole. I'm not going to so, talk about that. Um, he, I mean, he played with Tim Tebow. So it's just funny how Tim Tebow is so genuine and Christian-like, and then this dude was a murderer. So, And in fact, um, Hernandez at, at Florida got busted for... Um, some violent issues. And they some also dr- shot a guy in the face and some drug issues and got away with that one in Florida. Yeah, there were, and he shot him in the eye. The guy got won a civil suit for his eye. Yes, there but were, he got shot in the face. He should have died probably. So there should have been there were there were probably almost three murders. There were under other his belt. Um, murder investigations regar- re- involving Mr. Hernandez that he did not get convicted of. Correct. So regardless, he passed away by suicide at the age of twenty seven. In like 2013 or something like that. there is a netflix special on it uh which it was pretty good i, I would suggest watching that there's a better podcast yeah of course there is no no joke ours i, I listened to <laughs> well we're not doing an aaron hernandez no. but there was one called um, warrior sure the point is this gentleman had a incredibly severe case of cte his well, brain was fucked up yes so the go ahead real i i want to i want to oh, just man, share it's like called it. gladiator Aaron Hernandez and Football Inc. Uh, it's called Gladiator. So it's a Six Boston part. Globe. Didn't they do Spotlight? They did. So credibility? Yeah, absolutely, sir. But, I mean, the Boston's... Boston's The Boston's... Boston's news department seem to be knocking it out of the park lately. <laughs> no point in uh, <laughs> Literally. Um, Gladiator, Aaron Hernandez and Football Inc. You will... You will not be happy after listening to this. It enraged me. I actually don't. I can you give me one sentence why you were enraged? Yes. People in very powerful, influential positions that have children's lives in their hands on a daily basis and are supposed to mentor and make these people grow deliberately turn blind eyes. For the win, you talking and about killed people due to not having this man get reprimanded oh. or or um, possibly help earlier. Okay, let's go there. You will not. You're you not talking about his dad, right? No. Okay. No. Well, his dad was a cause, right? We we are we're clear about that. His dad correct? pushed him to play. Well, his dad beat the shit out of him every night. Yeah, uh, uh, that too. His it, w- it was beyond that. I, he. Aaron Hernandez was beat, was probably under physical strain, like some kind of hitting for probably an hour or two a day. So I, couldn't, I, I couldn't imagine. I didn't right? know that. His dad beat him every, he would come home drunk every night and beat him. It's all in the gladiator. I'm not kidding. It is the best. I think it's six parts, 45 minutes apart, something like that. It seems excessive. It's so good because it shows exactly where we as humans went wrong. That's all we do. It should, <laughs> right? But it's it, from oh, from shit. from high school to college. I the college thing just disgusts me. And then even in the pros, and you'll know the we'll they'll talk about the players involved. And when I mean players, the actors, right? The the individuals involved. Um, and you're gonna go, wow, this. And for example, I don't know. A certain coach is coaching an ethics course at one Ohio State, the Ohio State University, an ethics course. Listen, listen to the podcast. Not kidding. Gladiator, Aaron Hernandez, and Football Inc. It is worth changes. Aaron Hernandez was a victim, too. That's what's weird about it. 
because I don't think he wanted to hurt people. I think it. Ha I think he couldn't control himself. So, do you think he didn't know any better? Not know any better. He just couldn't stop. the The instinct to know better and stop was non-existent at the time that it happened. Um. Yes, to your point, Aaron Hernandez, 27 years old, had the brain of an 80-year-old. Shit. An 80-year-old. And they show, they show like, scans of his brain, and yeah. it looks like someone took, like, an X-Acto knife and cut, like, a triangle out of his head. What's the analogy you used before we started recording? Like a drill. Thank like you. Like, they just drilled holes through his brain. And it looks like... Like, it's eaten away. It looks like a half-inch drill bit. It doesn't look I'm, small. No, it's big because it's like a, it's a shape. So it's almost well, like they took holes. like two. Yeah, it's almost yeah. like two half inch on each side. Correct. I, it's weird. It's kind of just these weird. It looks like um, a butterfly, uh, like a HDMI port. Yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like just cut out right in the. Set. If you look from back to front or front to back, it just cut out HDMI like shape. It's discuss. We'll have the links on the. We'll put the links. We will. On the, yeah. I'm excited. Well, I mean, I think that's the smart. I mean, look at. Uh, anyway. Um, Eighty-year-old man. So let's talk about. So that. what do you do? You think? Okay. So try to be objective with my question. We we understand that Aaron Hernandez was mistreated by his father and many people, and he was he was a victim in a certain way. We need to put that aside. Do you? How much of his brain injury, brain injuries, CTE? contact on contact football life affected his crimes i would guess like 80 to 90 percent holy shit you think that much yeah he was beaten from childhood so the development was okay. never there i just i just don't feel like it was ever there i can't that that's what I'm saying. I, look, I'm not a doctor. I, right. We, we should get experts, but this is about, look, this show is about just two humans on this earth trying to figure some shit out. Yeah. Right? Uh, because we don't always have the answers. So, in my opinion, everything, because it was a physical, it wasn't just like something embedded. It just absolutely physically destroyed. He never had the foundation, in my opinion, it seems. That's what it seems like. When you when you hear stories from his brother, and Aaron was the bore the brunt of all of it, oh, shit. and there's other stories in there, and I don't want to give away a spoiler, but do you want me to spoil one thing? I, I forgot about the fact that he was gay. Just gonna say that. Yeah. So think about remember the whole thing about that fighting that with his dad, and yeah. then the emotional side of that, and dealing with that. Yeah, I forgot all uh, about that. Without impulse control, you. You, it's rage, man. I, I I don't know another word for it. And look, he is guilty of the crimes he committed. Right. I'm not. He's absolutely guilty of the crimes he committed. That's not the question, right? The question is, how did it get there? And it could have at least been addressed, maybe not fixed, but we would have known. You know what I mean? We would have known about it at 17, by the way. Yeah. 17. Listen to the podcast. I'm not kidding. 17 as early as 17 from an ethics professor. Yeah. Just saying. That's sad, dude. It's it you're makes, bringing a lot of information to light that I didn't know about. It makes me very sad. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Um, check you out knowing stuff that didn't tell me about beforehand. It just makes me very Usually sad. that's my job. And he hanged himself. He hung. Did not, no, he hanged. It's it, always, always hanged. You ha you hung pictures, but you hanged people. What? Oh, you hanged himself. Nice. Sorry, bro. English sucks. It does. English is the worst. <laughs> Let's talk in Czech. Okay. Hello. So in Czech, do you hung yourself or hang I, yourself? I, I, I hung? I pee myself. You pee? <laughs> um, so, <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to ask anyway, a dumb question. Was, no, go ahead. I like dumb questions. So is check mark well hanged or well hung? Oh, he's not anything. He's, 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 he, oh, he over circumcised. He's hung like a kitty cat. A Barbie doll. I mean, Kindle. <laughs> like a Kindle. I like Kindle. Yeah, very Asexual. much. Asexual. Very much. <laughs> I wish I liked the sex. I no like it. What? I No, he likes it. Trust me. Yeah. The Czech ladies? I am blind and hairy palms. Trust Whoa. me. I like, I like the sex. <laughs> um, I, I, don't, I don't think I have anything else on Aaron Hernandez because you fucking... <laughs> did I blow your mind? No, you made me all depressed uh, and well, shit. 
we're going to transition. I was already sad because well, I no, watched not the done Netflix yet. special we're not done a year yet. ago. Go ahead. The other, the podcast is, I watched the Netflix after th- hoping that it was going to be like an add-on or like even better. It was, the, the podcast was way better. Well, the podcast is like five hours. It was, it was like, yeah, it's like four hours, but it's so, in, it's so in like informational. Yeah. Um, but this is where I wanted to go with Aaron Hernandez, right? Okay. He's guilty of his crimes. Yes. He's guilty of his crimes. No problem. You can't prove CTE right now without being dead. Yes. When is someone going to use CTE as a self-defense? Yeah. And then I, which one, what do you go to another famous athlete that took a lot of hits to the head from USC that played at USC? Do you, do you take another guy? Do you think about that guy? Junior Seau? No. Oh, OJ. Yes. <laughs> Right? Sorry. Shouldn't lie. Right? No, but right? The guy had how many con- how many fucking concussions do you think he had? Oh. You think he had fucking impulse control? No. Yeah, well, in his helmet, I mean, he will if he doesn't do something to it, if he doesn't blow his own brains out or get them blown out and they and he Oh, they, yeah, they he'll can, be I he, I will I will attest he will be one of one, up there. He absolutely. will absolutely be up there. Yeah. At least the one, the part that is impulse control, 100%. Oh, yeah. That guy was volatile since a child as well. Very Hernandez. Like, they talk about, wasn't he like a, like a, uh, he was like a kleptomaniac, like in high school. I didn't know and that. He was like, he was, he was a trouble kid. I mean, I think he came from like LA. I don't know. He was a trouble, trouble kid. Sure. You know, so who knows all the abuse he went through, right? Not, once again, this, these aren't excuses, but we need to acknowledge that this is, possibly what causes these things yeah right now and then this is what happens though how do you how do you there's going to be some slimy lawyer right it's gonna be like yeah he has cte but you can't prove it so but he's got it because he took hits that right i can show you from the 42 concussions that he has that he should have cte right and like when when are we going to be able to get away from like having to be dead yeah to know yeah because it's extremely important here, right? In these cases, because it would change the whole thing. OJ, sn- I, it's my opinion that OJ, I, I can have that opinion. You can. I, it's my opinion that OJ killed Ron Goldman and Nicole. Yeah. Ron Goldman? Ron Goldman, right? I thought. Is that the father? Yeah. Damn it. The, Scott Goldman? Little Joel. Little Goldman. Little Goldman. Yeah. I don't know the, Sorry. I, I don't know the boy's name. I, I apologize. That's, I don't want to be callous about that but Nicole's two people boyfriend. were murdered and i believe o- it's my opinion that oj find me a compelling evidence to the contrary fine doesn't but everybody think he did it not the people that found him not guilty apparently well they have to do it because we the, the evidence presented was not enough to well, convict him didn't fit bro <laughs> so, so um you know with a clenched fist <laughs> yeah i can't fit over my knuckles <clears throat> no it doesn't matter regardless of that though yes accountable for the action right yeah but he doesn't go to maximum security prison for that he gets help because he's also troubled these are that's it could be not out of his control 100 percent because he's accountable for it but it could have been something that was an environmental thing that caused him to do that right so he goes to a mental institution maybe gets help and gets better and gets to live out yes the rest of his life possibly in that institution but with tools that can help him cope and live with the rest of his life yeah right i, yeah, I got you it changes the script right if you you watch the, you like for example that aaron hernandez thing or think about oj in that light i'm i'm not defending it at all but if it's if that is that big of a strong or that strong of a cause or case that you just lose your shit that's scary and we need to find this earlier like we need to be able to detect it earlier for sure yeah i agree um do you want to talk really quickly about the amen thing or do you want to Who? go into the sports the dr amen the the brain scan oh yeah guy? did you see that movie yeah the i didn't see thing. it the ted talk no the, oh yeah i thought you meant the uh, concussion movie oh no no i didn't watch that i wanted to watch it but i didn't have time i you know what? It's too docudrama-ish for me, and in hindsight, it just seems very dramatic. Okay. But that that's why I tried to stay away from it, because I wanted facts. I want I wanted to read articles versus, like, 
something to make me feel. I don't want to get, I don't want to get leaving Neverlanded again. You know what I mean? Yes. I don't want to get ln Yeah. Let's talk about the Ted talk. Um, yeah. So the Ted talk. Yeah. This guy, a doctor, Dr. Amen is his name. He runs these neurological clinics around the country. So tell me what, what you, what you remember about the Ted talk. He is a psychiatrist and he's a x-ray specialist. He's into like any kind of imaging of the human body. So those are his two specializations. So, um, several 25 years ago, he started combining the two. If we can take pictures of the human brain, what can we learn from them? Uh, and how does it relate to human behavior? So he said, why is it that psychiatrists are the only doctors that don't look at the piece of the body that you're working with? A cardiologist looks at the heart. A neurologist takes CAT scans and MRIs of the brain. Orthopedic surgeon looks at the bones, etc. But a psychiatrist just talks to you and kind of guesses you, what you have and gives you drugs, which can go freaking sideways. If you give somebody the wrong thing or the wrong amount, they could die. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a test. It's a test and or trial and error kind of which thing. Which is horrible. And, and the error part can, has dire consequences. Yeah. That's they could the die. Problem. So death is really bad. If you experience death, please stop taking Tambien right away and call your doctor. So he, this gentleman developed him and his colleagues developed a spectrometer spect spec something, Spe some kind of spectrograph. Thank what you. I love to your point though is, that's the one thing that stood out to me is like, how come psych psychology, it's the one organ or the one thing that people don't look at. To your point, you look at a broken bone, yeah. you look at a swollen liver or you, you know what I mean? You look at all these different things yeah. and you can see it. You can even see the heart and yet you can't do anything. Like they haven't really come up with something about the brain. And that's when they created this revolutionary, amazing scanning imaging yes. equipment. Yes. And they can look inside the brain to see what's happening with what kind of patient, whether it's Alzheimer's or dementia or um, ADHD. So it's not just CTE, but it's a wide variety of different things, Parkinson's, that they can look at and see, oh, hey, these things are going on. We need to address them. And it's, it was fascinating. And it's a, it's a, it's a, I think it's a very large step in the medical field to start helping people with, with brain injuries. Yeah, it was interesting. And part of the scanning thing, I, if I remember correctly, and I, I don't want to butcher it, we'll put the YouTube up as well. The Ted talk. Um, yes, but, um, it was the blood flow to certain parts of the brain. I think that they could really scan. And that's yeah. where they saw, found holes. Yes. So like where there are these holes, there was no blood going to that region. And they know what that region at least kind of controls a little bit. So they know if there are these holes in certain areas, what the problem is. And then they develop some kind of training or, you know, workshopping. And then could be some medication. It could be, you know, a combination of three or four different types of methods and they get better. Yeah. And you want to share the story about the, I mean, you're not going to spoil it. Just share the story about the, the kid. The, that was, the kid uh, that he helped. I mentioned it before, uh, the three-year-old boy that fell down the steps. Right. And he had, um, ever from the age of three to the age of 15, he was a behavior problem and he had, he lashed out. Uh, no, wait a minute. Yeah. No, and then and this was a nine year old, the right? nine year old. Sorry. Right. At, this is a the, nine year old that was beating up the girl. Yeah. The nine, Italy, sorry. I'm, the no, nine year okay. old, um, he ran onto the field and he attacked a, a nine year, another girl, a girl on the field for no reason at all. So this doctor psychiatrist, and he drew pictures of kids hang, hanging and shooting them. And it was discuss, it was scary, disturbing, disturbing for, sure. for a night, a nine year old. Yeah. So they took a, uh, spectrogram. They took a, they took a new picture of his, brain and they found a cyst the size of a golf ball on um, right on his temple and they s removed it and thumbs up bro thumbs that was up. ricky schroeder's thumb talking bro. oh that was awesome <laughs> was like, nice oh i didn't try to butt in he's I, like no, oh it's just, that was amazing i did that on the so video. when they removed the cyst he went he went back he was, immediately went back to normal so if they didn't bother 
to look at this from a different way, this kid would have, this, the, the doctor was concerned that this kid was going to turn into another Sandy Hook or another Ma Columbine or another mass shooting. That they, if they didn't bother to look at, treat him with a non psychiatric or behavioral method, that he was concerned that this boy was going to turn into another mass shooter. And it turns out the boy was his nephew. And now he's well adjusted, has a job, et cetera. Bought a house. Right. All good stuff. Yeah. So he, it was, it was crazy. I mean, very touching. It, you know, remind me of Jeremy spoke in class today. Clearly, I remember picking on the boy. Seemed a harmless little fuck. Oh. Pearl Jam, right? Sure. Wasn't he standing? Arms raised in a V. The dead lay in pools of maroon below. That's what Jeremy's about. Did you not know? I, I didn't know that. Oh, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy's like about this kid getting picked on in school and then just loses it. They should have called it Carrie. Jeremy spoke in class today, bro. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> Carrie. Um, Carrie did other shit. Yeah. She, she blew, was a bad. She was she a badass. She blew up the prom, dude. She was a bamf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so Dr. Amon was, it was his nephew that like basically saved this kid's life with the proper help tools yeah. that by knowing where the problems lie, like he could help this child. That's amazing. It's, it's an amazing, amazing story. I hope that that's going to become more widespread yeah and we can as a human race we could l start to learn to look at behavioral issues from a different perspective i went on the website and it is expensive of course it is yeah. so was vcr when it first came out no but my point is not just that it's also like getting med getting a national getting health care to help like oh, some insurance yeah. to get to help with that it's a mental issue health issue or mental health issue and once again, mental health issues seem to be on the back burner, right? You can see a broken arm. You can't see a mental issue till it rears its ugly head till right. after the fact, right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, mental issues are an effect thing. They're not a cause, right? They're not a cause. Yeah. So you see what happens and then go, oh, that's why it happened. Yeah, of course. Whereas a broken arm is like, oh, yeah, that's right there. It's right in front of my face. I right, see it's dangling. Right. Yeah. So I, no, I get it's you. unfortunate because yeah. we are getting better. I think we are getting better. People are asking at least more for help. I ho I'm hoping, but we talked about we talk about like social dilemma or you're right social dilemma right with social media and young young women uh, suicide rates yes. skyrocketing yes, and, yes. and middle aged men who feel they're purposeless right now uh, skyrocketing and we'll probably talk about we'll have a we'll have a, a not conscious about that because you and I are mid for uh, middle aged white men we are. Yeah. I'm, well, you're half. We white. got one and a half middle aged white men in here, bro. We have a seven year old you know, half you, Mexican. You know, also. We are, we're, we're brothers, bro. <laughs> we're all the same. Whoa. But no, regardless, like we're basically, we're basically, uh, don't fall for no banana and tailpipe. That's basically us. Look, man, I'm not falling for banana and my tailpipe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's got natural. Uh, why is there, is there blood on the ice in that picture? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I think it's paint. Okay. That's a cert, the red dot. We're looking at a hockey guy and they're beating oh, yeah, the crap guy. out of each other. So Dr. Amin, I, I'll put the YouTube, I'll put the TED talk up there and then I'll have his information. You can, it's really, it's worth a 14, 15 minutes. Yeah, it's I a mean, great, yeah. It's, it's good very, TED talks are worth every second of the 15 minutes. Is there bad TED talks? There are bad TED talks. Really? I've never seen one bad TED talk. Uh, it got it a little out of hand. Really? Yeah. I mean, if you're, I guess if you're really interested in a specific subject, and you know me, I'm pretty curious. You and I talk about our curiosity. We're pretty much curious about anything, but it's, if it's not delivered to me in a, in a good enough way, oh, I need okay. I need help with the that. subject. Could be good, but the delivery could be poopy. That's okay, correct. now I understand your point. And it's not entertaining. I need to, I don't need them to shuck and jive, but I need them to have and not sound like robots. And I need yes. them to not act like robots and Cor just okay. It can't and, be dry. And just like barf information at me. Yeah, I don't like informational barfage. That's what makes us special. We don't just barf information. We barf and then eat it back up with That's, a straw. I do not. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so where were we? Players with CTE. Yeah. Um, Red Favre. <laughs> well, they, here's one website we're just going to go through pretty quickly. Um, I'm not going to do ones that are still alive because they can't. Why not? Because they can't prove well, it. Well, just read the thing. That, so they, they, they think Brett Favre might. Okay, why? 
it doesn't matter. He got hit a lot. It's fucking Brett Favre. <laughs> he fucking he got hit a lot. He played a lot. He played a long time. He got hit a lot. He had memory loss, and that's what it was. He's having memory loss issues, so they're thinking he might have it. So uh, this one definitely did Bob Probert because he's dead, and I believe they dissected him. Um, he uh, he had and legal who's, and substance who's Bob abuse. Probert? Bob Probert is a hockey player. Okay, and he was a, an enforcer. He got in a lot of fist fights. Okay, with Detroit and I believe it was Chicago is most most of it. Um, he uh, he his brain was examined by researchers at Boston University. Once again, Boston and Boston coming through today. One of the CTE research centers in the United States, one of the leading CTE research centers, they found evidence that he was suffering from CTE. Uh, I don't know this gentleman. Bernie Kosar, they think he might. Um, the pain and mental issues ever since his retirement. Recent years received treatment, advocated methods of treatment for other he's players who have developed right? CTE. Correct. He is still alive. That's why I, I don't like those because CTE yeah. is only 100% right. yeah, right. dissected people. Um, they, they think Sugar Ray Robinson, obviously they didn't dissect his brain. It was before they did that. Um, but Sugar Ray Robinson was a boxer. Pretty famous uh, in his day. Yeah. He fought a total of a 198 professional bouts. Wow. In, fi 25 in 25 years. years. Winning 173 of them. That's pretty impressive. Wow. Suffered financially later, developed Alzheimer's before dying uh, at 67. So he died at 67. A guy who's in obviously amazing shape. That's pretty young. Right. When you think a boxer, you think just shape-wise, yeah. his heart, body is strong. Right. But mentally not. Brain can go too, ladies and gentlemen. 67 is uh, crazy. Joe Lewis, also another boxer, they think. Um, once again, punch drunk. Fights, punch drunk, once again. 34 and 51. So that's what, 17 years? 166 of his 70 fights. Punch drunk. Here you go. Punch drunk was a layman's term for CTE-like conditions suffered by boxers after their careers. Um, professional wrestlers that you wouldn't really care about. Another hockey player. Andre Waters was a big one. for. Uh, he played with Philadelphia for all those years, then with the Cardinals. Yeah. So Phoenix locals know uh, Andre Waters. I think he killed himself as well, right? Gunshot, yes. yeah. Brain was examined. He had depression due to CTE. Once again, Junior Seau, right, had the same thing. Um, let's see here. We'll that one through. really, that one, go back. The base, one? Yeah, that one really messed me up. Okay, so let's go over him because I didn't, I didn't know the context. Yeah, so either, share this either did I. Um, well, because I'm a big baseball guy, so I guess I didn't even know that he died. So Ryan Friel played with the Reds, uh, a couple other teams, and he was the first baseball player to be diagnosed with CT. I, I didn't know that. He played for nine years. Um, I, 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 just, I just read this this morning. So I was like, it really like was like, wow. Like, I know that guy. I mean, I've watched him play, you know? Right. He retired in 09. And I mean, it's kind of like for Junior Seau for me because I've watched football so much. Right. Um, and he, he retired in 09 from baseball and he committed suicide in 2012. And I, I, didn't, I didn't even, I guess I just didn't know he even died. I was like, wow, that's so sad. Yeah. So, um, he did retire in 09 because he sustained significant brain injuries. And that's and just... He, and he took his own life in 2012. Yeah. This one actually bothered me. A young man named Nathan Stiles. Because he's the youngest deceased player to have been, to have suffered from CTE. They, uh, he basically got hit and then he died. Shut up. And what it was, during his autopsy, doctors revealed that Stiles, just 17 at the time, was already showing signs of CTE. So that shows you... What happened was he got hit. Oh, it's called second impact syndrome. That's what I was trying to get to. I'm oh. sorry. He was a running back playing in his senior year when he sustained a serious hit to the head, later died from second impact syndrome. What does that mean? What that means is he had the secondary head trauma too soon after oh. an initial concussion or head trauma so this is this is something that ufc is really good about and mma mixed martial arts uh ultimate fighting championship this is something about them that i really like versus boxing boxing they have really padded gloves right yeah it's constant 
barrages to the head, constant hemorrhaging, boom, 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 100, 200 times per match, right? Yeah. How many matches, all the sparring, all the other <gasps> stuff. MMA, you've got really thin gloves. It's one shot. You could be knocked out and be done. Yeah. So you're not getting those serious things. And now what happens is if you get knocked out, they have a mandatory, I believe, I don't want to speak 100% fact, but I believe it's my I. I think I remember hearing they have a mandatory six month sitting out and then a retest, you know, like the concussion protocol Cognitive type stuff. Cognitive abilities yep. and shit. Yeah, and yeah, they, yeah. But it's, it's a mandatory six month if it's a knockout, not like a submission because it's, you know, joint or some other pain. Yeah, right. But if but it's a, your if brain. It's a, not, right. If it's a knockout, right. if it's do like technical knockout or knockout, then you have to wait because the brain needs to fully heal. And that's what this kid, this kid came back too soon. He's like, oh, my headache went away. I'm ready. Obviously, he's 17. It could have been body. in the same game. Right. You it's, you absolutely. Don't know. Correct. But they're saying from an initial concussion. So we don't know if it was from a previous game, but it seemed like they knew it was something else. Hang on. So that kid was 17 years old when he died. Yes. He was already showing signs of CTE. Yes. A disease that happens because of repeated hits to the head at 17 years old so yes that that right there should be a massive red flag flashing warning sign above every sport every contact sport women's soccer rugby etc 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 i would think is that statement bullshit or not? Dare I say? No. Child abuse again. You think? Because, hey, hey, uh, what's this kid? Nathan, dad, daddy, daddy here. Mr. Styles. No, Nathan. Nathan's daddy father. Here. Yeah, daddy here. Hey, buddy, you're so good at this, man. You're not feeling so great. If, you, we if don't, you don't know that happened. If dude. you don't get, if you don't get three times, I'm. That's not everyone. I'm not. Okay, I apologize. This is complete. Um, what's this Hyperbole? called? Hyperbole. Yeah, but it's one of those dramatizations. This is a dramatization. This is not a real, factual thing. I do not know this. This could happen in anyone's yes, household. This could happen in but anyone's household. This may household. not have been what happened Co to this young man. Correct. Specifically. A absolutely. Jesus. What I'm saying is. Fuck. Okay, Todd Marinovich is a great example. Oh, shit, yeah, let's talk about that you asshole. Wanna, well, I'm just saying, do you want to use that? Because you that's know what his he dad, had CTE, man. Well, his dad obviously groomed him from, from well, His second, dad fucked him up. Right, from millisecond one, yes, his correct. dad groomed him correct. to be this thing, right? Yeah. And that that's the father, or that's the role model about which I'm speaking. I can't speak for Nathan, but he already had CTE, so he obviously got hit a ton, or his brain just wasn't ready, or he wasn't that, his head, just some people get aren't as tough right you know tough and it's not a negative if you're not there's just a it's a physiological thing you can't control the toughness of your skull right you can't t control how your body is going to react to getting hit in the head agreed right so you know who knows but i've seen pe parents or role models take their children and force them into doing things and a lot of them are sports because they're ways out right and they go through this and this happens so it's, i i it, get you it sucks and like one of the things you and i have we don't have children yet we really care about the welfare of children it's it's a i don't know it's a weird dichotomy but i guess we feel like our childhoods were good on paper fucked up they were good on paper though but they look good on paper to the world i think no, mine. I think mine looked good on paper for sure. I just didn't really understand. So, but now we understand, and we want to. We're trying to expose some stuff and help people. Anyway, back to CTE. Junior sales on the list, obviously. And then the the one the number one one on this list, and I'll sh I'll put these up too. Right, we talked about. I think we Chris is in the back not talking, so I feel like I'm filling up dead air. Um, the Way one that go, got Captain me, Kirk. This wrestler named Chris Benoit. It's not Benoit. Benoit, and it's not Beignet it. either. Mm, Chris mm. Beignet. Is, um, is his middle name Powdered Sugar? Crispy Beignet. Mm. But Chris Benoit, um, really sad. 
he they think alcohol played a big part they think steroids played a big part they think pills played a big part they think painkillers played a big part they put think he's wwe CTE. he was both uh nwa and w or wcw and wwe yeah okay. they were the big ones uh wwf no he was wwe i think at the time um but he was he was from mid eighties till two thousand seven, so say eighty seven to tw so twenty two years, twenty years. So that does show you that even though wrestling's fake, you oh. can get you can rattle your skull. And those guys have one hell of a schedule where you get competed uh, repeatedly hit. You know you, they televise like two a year, two per sh like week. Yeah, but they do like four shows. They, they actually yeah. go, or they did tour. I mean, they might not do it the way they did now. That might actually be a benefit with COVID right now because they can't go city to city. Yeah. Because they're doing everything out of a centralized location. Everyone's like wiring into that location. That's actually interesting. That's probably, that's probably helped a lot of uh, athletes in that respect, especially in the impact like this. Look, is it scripted? Is it well-known? Yes, but doesn't make the stuff less athletic or less physical. These guys get hit. I've seen broken bones, broken ribs. Uh, and they continue. Guy get hit in the liver. He had a punctured liver or something, and, con and continued. And they carried him off. And then he went like went to the hospital. You know, it's like these guys are tough as nails. And you know, they take a lot of painkillers, and they get hooked on painkillers. And they know they need to be bigger and stronger and faster. So they might take. You know, I'm I'm not calling any single one out. In this case, Chris Benoit, he was Canadian. And I think it was in Carolina, right? That he that he lived. Don't know. But he murdered his wife and son. And Holy then, shit! And then committed suicide by hanging himself. Wow. And that one just I don't know what else to say about that. Like he had the brain. They say he had the brain of an eighty year old, and he I think he was in his forties. Uh, had sustained lasting damage to every section of his brain. I don't even know how many sections there are, but every sounds like a lot. Um. Benoit had one of the most severe cases CTA that CTE that examiners had ever seen, and he was only 40. So there you go. There's 20 on that list, and three on the list killed someone and then took their own life. Yes. And that's to me, that speaks volumes. That and this it, is a this is not a fucking joke. Yeah, and it's not like your own life. This it's is, like you, know. you owe three guys like it was a, three guys were involved with a murder suicide. So they directly affected someone else and someone else's family. And what if that person was a mother or, you know, a sister or a brother? You I mean, everyone else is something else to someone else. So that this is, this is, has horrible effects. Like the ripple effects are massive. It's yeah. a big ass ripple. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, a it's, it's a tidal wave for Christ's sake. It's not a ripple. So, you know, Junior Seau had kids and family, and and he didn't want to be on this earth anymore. Yeah, his kids couldn't even be enough purpose for him. Right, and, and he was forty three, dude. And he's such he he was won such the a Super nice Bowl. Guy. Yeah, and he's not. He didn't. I'm I'm sorry. He didn't. He no was way. not one he of the three on that took someone else's life. No. But no, 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 no. The no, fact no. that he only took any and he shot himself in the chest on purpose. Right, because he. I think he wrote a note. I think or he did something. He I either think texted he, someone or wrote a note that yeah, he wanted he his something. brain examined. Um, yeah, I just remember what it was. But um, to your point, um, you and I, once again, libertarians, we've had suicidal ideations. The right to pursue the life you want, as long as the pursuit of your life style or whatever doesn't impede directly on another's, right? Yes. Taking another's life does take away that right if you kill someone else you're taking away that's in direct violation direct of viola libertarianism it is the direct violation so this is why it is so important like it's one thing if the people just killed themselves that's horrible stick of fury um that is horrible in itself but that it affects other people in addition like to not even just not being there right to junior seau's point yeah but to actually take another life or yeah. two Yes, absolutely. That's so the point. That, that's even worse. Is that I don't? It's just it's a shame. It's a crime. It's a yeah. tra if it's a Travis Sham mockery, it is what it is. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No, that's totally right, dude. It's fucked up. Agreed. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. What like else the, you got? I like the black backdrop. It is. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, 
What other so athletes? We, we talked about Aaron Hernandez. We talked about these people. These are other football players. This is the other one, the last one that I'm The I'm New York with. Times? Yeah, it was a New York Times article. Like I said, we'll post all the uh, links. They studied how many, sir? 110 brains. No, 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 19? Not, no. not 19. 111 brains. Oh, excuse sir. me. Sorry, 111. I, I just saw the big number. 111 NFL brains. 111 NFL brains. So they took them apart and dissected them and looked at them. Um, of those 111, sir, how many show signs of CTE? 99%. Over 99%. Over 99%. How, how, many? 110. How, about, how about only one didn't? Only one did not. How about that? Even a punter. Even? Even a place kicker. <laughs> I'm serious. No, no. It said even I a know. place kicker it's and crazy. a punter showed signs of CTE. How the how the hell? One punter, one place kicker, two tight ends. Only two tight ends. I'm surprised because yeah. they block too. Yeah. That one's surprising. I know. That one's surprising to me yeah. actually. But maybe they didn't block as much back then. Maybe they actually did go out to catch. No, I thought they blocked more. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. That, that one seemed more like Butkus, not Butkus, but Ditka and seemed like physical back then. Those guys think. were line, I mean, line, uh, they linebackers. Were, uh, Ditka was a tight end. He was? Yeah. Ditka? Yeah. Ditka. Ditka. Hurricane Dubbers. Ditka. I had two, I got two bear claws shoved right in there, Bob. Bashworski, I got Gilbasa. I got to get on there. I, hey, I'm not a seamstress, so I put it together with nacho cheese. I stitched it together. So what if uh, Ditka was battling a hurricane named Ditka? Yeah. Who would win? Oh, uh, what, Ditka. Dit, Ditka versus a hurricane. Ditka. Ditka. No, wait, wait for it. The name of the hurricane is, is Hurricane Ditka. Oh, oh Ditka. Ditka. <laughs> bears. Bears. Okay. Um, that was awful yeah. and amazing. Ly Lyman, to your point, had the most hits and, hey, look, the most physical uh, issues, right? CTE, the yeah. highest number. <laughs> and But the thing is, I don't know if... Well, it doesn't show percentages. It, it just, just shows total number. It just shows total number. That but they, yeah, 44 so that, linemen. Right. Of the 111. Tw 20 running backs. Which that makes sense. That's the second highest number. They run into things and hit get hit pretty hard. <laughs> they run well, into things. Well, they're hey, fast. What's your job? I run into things. Well, they're fast, right? So they they get a good acceleration. So that sloshiness really gets going. Oh, sloshiness. Sloshiness. Hashtag sloshiness. And then uh, seventeen defensive backs, thirteen linebackers, seven quarterbacks. That makes sense how much they get hit, but it, that might should have been higher. But maybe they just didn't have as many quarterbacks, obviously. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Five receivers, two tight ends, one place kicker, one punter. So this isn't like a percentage thing. It's no, just of the 111. Of the, correct. I'm, did you see which one wasn't? Did they say what the position was of the one that wasn't? I didn't see that. No. Okay. So anyway, unbelievable. 110 of 111 football players, NFL players, showed signs of that. And think about... That's the, that's there. They could have had it before they got in the NFL, right? So think about all the college players that probably have it and the percentage of that. Or even high school, even if they didn't get into college, just the amount. Because everyone takes hits like this. Yeah, and, and to go to, to play football in college, you have to be good in high school. I mean, you have to be, you know, if you look at the hundreds of thousands of kids that play high school football, you have to be really good to play in college. Even if you're a walk-on, okay, you're still going to take hits. So the, it's to get to those levels, you know, as you said, you're talking between three and 6,000 hits at the age of 22. That's, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's astronomical. Yeah, that's just nuts. A um, couple, couple names that came across. Mike Webster, I think he was the first, yeah, one of the on first that like said, I think he put in a note, like, take my brain apart. I think he shot himself and said, "Take my brain apart." Because I think he shot. Himself I knew. In the I knew he committed suicide, but I don't know yeah, about the. No. I think he did the same thing. Kevin Turner was an interesting one. Andre Waters. Any any other ones stick? Oh, Ken Stabler. Yeah, Ken Stabler. Because I was a Raiders out. fan. Junior, obviously. Growing up, because just to piss off my dad. <laughs> so t to see Ken Stabler on the list, I mean, I remember when he died, but I, I you know, and he was just a badass gunslinger. You know what I mean? Yep. Oh, and he I, took a hit. Yeah, and, but, and, 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 and administered him. Yeah. He didn't care. No, no, I'm saying he was tough. Oh yeah, but and I, that's, that, that's just the warrior how he, mentality, right? Yeah, that we talk about gladiator yeah. warrior. That's how he played. Right. We, you know, he played. I'm. I don't care if if I break a leg, then so be it. Yeah. Yeah. Another like more recent Chris Henry. 
uh, Cincinnati, I think, running back. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, just the names you, they, that stick out. Earl Mor- Morrill, like I totally didn't even think about that one. Or, you know, who? so many that just – Bubba Smith. Yeah, I saw that one too. You know? Yeah. Um, crazy. It's it's unfortunate. And uh, I, I know people are looking more into this, and I, I know less people are actually playing. But we did – you did a couple surveys, a little, um, we'll or get talk to, that, to a couple but people, I, I, or what um, else we got? Yeah, what's so next on your, on your list? Do you Cause think? Because I'm, I'm, I think I've got, I blew my load, sir. Oh, this is so sexy. Um, do you? I, I, one of the one of the articles that I read said that Jerry Jones, the owner of the Cowboys, he played college ball uh, with a guy that ha- had CTE. But Jerry Jones believes there is no link to, from CTE, and yeah, Jerry Jones believes there's no link between football and CTE. Yeah, and I, I okay. thought, wow, okay, one of your friends that you played college ball with died. He's also, he's also an anti-vaxer, a flat earther, a climate change denier, sir. Well, I'm an anti-vaxer, so <laughs> you're not. I don't think you're an anti-vaxer. Yeah, I am. All of them, mumps, measles. I don't grow. know, dude. If I. That's what if I had a kid, we'd have to have a different conversation about this. Yeah, you know what? I don't have but, any kids, so no, we we would have, but we were vaccinated with certain ones. But I wasn't consulted. My right. parents just stabbed me with a fucking needle. My point is, how did you turn out, bro? <laughs> I'm pretty fucked up. Look at me, man. You're beautiful. Do you see what the vaccines Look, did to my hair? Oh, mira, mira, Look at the vaccines took uh, all my hair, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please pause. Pause the podcast. Please, uh... please pause the podcast. Open up YouTube. Go to the Not Conscious channel. Or just go on knockedconscious.com right now. Click on the YouTube Knocked Conscious link on the right top right corner on a web browser or at the bottom on a phone and boom. on your I'm sorry. Your phone. On your phone. Watermark's over here now. Then you'll have a good time because then you'll, then you'll listen and then look at that beautiful face. Hey, look at this guy. We're back to video. I'm so excited. I, I'm. We had talked about doing it and then the hemmed and then you're hot. You're like, we don't need to video, do video, bro. But I know you want. I know, I know you wanted to. Are you done talking? Never. Uh, okay, I'm done. Ray, the stick of fury has, ow, has commanded me. I'll give you a CTE. <laughs> oh, I'll show you a CTE. I'll give you a CTE. I don't know. You can't uh, even do that. Okay, so Jerry Jones. That is ridiculous. Of course it's ridiculous. So and my, an anti-masker. I forgot the last oh, one. Oh, so am I. And oh, I, yeah. I'm a fucking liberal. So uh, I just, anyway, okay. The question is, check mark. Do you think? Where do you think the NFL stands in this? Do you think the NFL is negligent? Do you think? Do you think that these laws? There's lawsuits that we. I'm sorry, we didn't. There's been players that have filed lawsuits against um, the NFL. Uh, Aaron Hernandez estate has filed the lawsuits against the Patriots because they think that they didn't. He didn't get warned that the, the CTEs were possible. CTEs possible. Excuse me. So is, are these bodies liable? Are they negligent? Could they do more? Stupidity is the deliberate cultivation of ignorance. If you stick your head in the sand, of course you're not going to see the problem. They knew. It's and clear if- that they knew. I mean, the movie Concussion isn't inaccurate in the fact that they knew. They oh, did studies. Okay. And it was like they didn't put the label on, they didn't put the warning label on their pack of cigarette on their helmet. Of course. And it was, it's all, if, if we haven't learned by now, it seems that every system given enough time can become corrupted due to greed. Growth. Well, don't you think it became corrupted decades ago? Oh, absolutely. But, but they probably didn't look, you were a tough guy when you were a football player, Chuck Bednarik, this game is fucking over. Like he just knocks out like Y.A. Tittle, stands over, you know what I mean? Like Concrete Chuck was his name, was like his nickname because he hauled concrete like on a, because they got, you know, he was a bag boy or whatever <laughs> when he wasn't yes. playing football back yes. in the day. Right. Because it was a warrior game yeah. and then it became a money game. Yeah. No, I understand. When, when, it, when it shifted from warrior to money and they knew the, the ramifications, but the money would be suffered, would suffer as it's growing or it would stop growing or shrink even. I'd probably sit on, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to, 
to be hypothetical and say I'd be awesome about it. But why do they need to know? They know they're hitting each other. I'd just be like, look, you know it's a violent sport. You know what I mean? Like, it's an excuse. <coughs> an yes. easy excuse. Say, like, hey, oh, no, you knew. Guys, uh, you're hitting each other at 30 miles an hour combined every time. You didn't think you were going to get hurt? What, do you, what are you, a child? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how they would spin it. Right. And it doesn't matter how good you make the helmets or no it doesn't ha- let's say okay now we have targeting you can't go helmet to helmet Do- doesn't now even you- matter the body correct the, body, the whole body is is moving at a speed your brain's in the body your relative speed is the same and then it stops so that brain is moving smashing in the front of your lobe or the back of your lobe or the side regardless of where you're hit it might be a little more severe with the head because of the it might be faster and more direct but it's even on the body; it would still be jarred. I, yeah, it's a, it's taking a hit every time. There's nothing around that. When a couple of years ago, three years ago or something, uh, a couple of studies came out. Probably that that New York Times article, and there was a few things like that. And I, that I that concussion movie with Will Smith was probably around that time. I'm guessing, and I thought this is it. And I haven't watched the NFL um, in over 20 years. So I watch college religiously until this year because COVID. When the cheerleaders wear masks, I'm, d- I'm done. That's just, I'm out. And the strippers. And the strippers. Oh, yeah. F- we're not going to Jaguars, bro. Okay. Uh, Sugar 44. What? Sugar 44. Sugar 44? Yeah. I don't know what that is. It, I don't. It's the name of a, the same kind of place. Okay, a, a, a dream a, palace. Dr- I know a dream Christ- palace. Christie's. <laughs> yes. Is it bad that I know all of these highlighters? Okay, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I haven't been to most of those, but uh, I, I d- do know of uh, them. What's a Bourbon Bourbon Street? Yes, Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. Yeah. Uh, k- k- Bourbon Street. That's it. Bourbon Street. Oh, it's that's just called. It. Bur- I thought that's it was, the end of the sentence. I thought it was BSC. Bourbon no, Street a- Club. A- Bourbon B- Street Club. ABC is the other. No, one. it's BSC because Bourbon Street Club. I think is what it's called. Okay, Bourbon, that's right. Is it sad that I know all the names? No, it's not. But I'm not. But I'm not broke. Hey, bro. Oh, only a dollar, ladies and men, gentlemen. What was I? You asshole. What, what was what? Huh? What was I saying? Oh, we were talking, we were talking about masks. When the cheerleaders wear masks. When the cheerleaders wear masks, I'm not going to watch college. You prick. Several years ago, <laughs> I fucking hate you. Several years ago, you, I thought. Do you? Yes. Not with the stick of rage, and please don't do that. It really hurts. That's a lie. It, no, it actually like it resonates like a chamber. It's metal. I'm getting an ear T E. E T E. I'm getting an orgasm. O H R. Whoa. So, I th- I honestly thought that that was the beginning of the end for the NFL. And that's the opposite. Like the ratings went up and Mahomes got that big ass four fifty million contract last year and it's the opposite of what I thought actually happened. I think you might be misremembering, sir. Well, you said ratings went down correct with the Dallas Mavericks owner, Cuban, yes. because they went to Thursday night, yep. Sunday, Sunday night, Monday. Correct. But that was not, I don't think that, when did, there were, that, that was, was three years, years ago. Before, no. It was only three, three or four years ago. No, because yeah. when did they go Thursday no. night, Monday night, Sunday night? When did that happen? When the CTE thing, this this is my opinion on, I, I apologize. I, I, I was very ab- abrupt. I want, I want to clarify what I meant by that. This is my opinion of the, pic- the entire picture okay. that I'll paint. Okay. To your point, yes. When they discovered that that CTE was important, it that was an earlier, a little bit earlier. Okay. But the reason ratings were still skyrocketing is because women were starting to get involved in fantasy football. Okay. Fantasy football and gambling started getting really big, but it started being like women were way interested in it, okay. and they were, and and the NFL was really. Back, banking in on it as the players were beating the women, right? Remember all the burying stories that they had there? Yes, yes. So, uh, it took me a second. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. So you yes. combine that, you probably lost some of the women. Yeah, yeah. Which you should. You should. That, I don't, I, I do believe in second chances. I don't know 
in what I'd have to be specific on what case on a case by case basis. So I don't want to say a name or whatever blanket, but like someone who shouldn't have been come back. There are some people who did some really, really I'll, atrocious. I'll say a name. Okay. Of someone who should never come back. OJ? F- no. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Michael Vick. That okay. motherfucker should not With be on. Dogs. F- yeah. Should fucking not be on fucking Fox ten- Fox whatever the fuck okay. saying. Oh, this cornerback is awesome, and they're gonna win the blah 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 of the year, and then the way they do the f- fucking coverage of the deep this and the and the punt return. No, fuck that guy. He didn't redeem himself, in your opinion. I'm just asking. No. Okay. That's. Yeah. And he's an inarticulate jackass. Well, that's a whole. That's a different. <laughs> let's Sorry. go. Let's go to the. See, to me, it, to me, it's brass tacks, right? Can he actually speak? Where I can understand. I, I, I won't listen to him. I have no, no idea. No, no, no. I totally get. I was I, talking out of check marks, but we, we are just we are just conversing, sir. Okay. It's a conversation. We're, no, yeah, that's all we do. I'm, I'm curious about this um, because I I totally get your point. I'm going. Let's expound because I don't know everybody who if who listens to this knows about the NFL about Michael Vick. Oh, right? okay. So let's so expound. I, I apologize. Because of dogs, you're, you're correct. correct. Dogs. Yeah, dogs. Let's just go with dogs. He uh, break it down real quick. Uh, he got doing, is arrested. It not conscious? This needs to be discussed. Yeah, he's a he played it. Uh, Virginia Tech um, quarterback. He got drafted. He played in the NFL. F- whatever, a couple years, and then he got arrested, and he spent three or four years in prison for dog fighting. Is that? Do you want to be more specific? No, he's, he did dog fighting. He grew, but and the thing is, I don't, I don't try to excuse it, but I do try to look at the bigger picture. But I also don't. Ha- I know your your love for the dog and the innocence. I absolutely agree with the innocence of the dog. This guy didn't. I. It feels like he didn't know better. Okay. And it it feels like he tried to redeem himself, or okay. he's trying to, or he has sure like. I'm not certain because once again, we've realized that we've been lied to by everyone. Yeah. And if they want him to be redeemed, they can make him look like he's been redeemed. So I. Oh yeah, like Ray Lewis, same thing. That that's Ray Lewis. See, that's is the a, one that a, gets me. Is a murdering murderer. That's the one that gets and me. He, he never, murdered a guy at the Super Bowl the year before they went and won the fucking Super Bowl. And he just never got. He Nothing. got off. No, he never not got arrested. A fucking yeah. thing. He's a murdering murderer, and he just never took one that, part. That scares me. And that, once again, that's our opinions. Yeah. But my that's a strong opinion I have, just like with OJ. So but I we're allowed to have them, so it's cool. I don't think a lot of people would disagree with us. Would you agree? No, I think everyone thinks OJ did it. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm saying I'm Ray Lewis as well. Well, people he still get watch in his him every fucking suit. Every everybody still watches him every Sunday I don't, morning. I don't. I think it's ESPN I, well, okay, now. And whatever, fuck him. I don't whatever care. channel that he's on on the pregame every Sunday. Yeah. My dad watched him. Yeah, he like, did. Yeah, Dad, what are you doing? Is that fucking ESPN morning fucking? Yeah, Monday, every Sunday, Sunday night, with Sunday Boomer. Kind of countdown. Yeah, and he's a fucking. I don't like him times either. Too. Yeah. I like his counterpart. I like a lot of people. He used to be I like on a lot of people Center. Over there. Dan Patrick. No. Oh. African American dude. Older. Stuart Scott? No, he died. Yes. Uh, kind of chubby. Uh, he was Boomer's little assistant. Uh, he was like a little sidekick. Crap. Anyway, I like that guy. Anyway. I do not remember. Fuck, I can't remember his fucking name. I apologize. Anyway, that's that. Don't you? I should be apologizing. I don't remember his name. I should remember. I, I watch ESPN a lot. I just so changed now. It's so fucking weird. Yeah, so do. How do you want to end on this, the, the specific topic of how the NFL and CT directly are related? Well, it's clear that continuous blows to heads, brain sloshing and smacking inside the skull, creates CTE. And that's all that sport is. So I, I didn't like Jerry Jones before. And then, and yeah, they're deniers. It, they're fucking climate change deniers. They have to be. Well, okay, it, it okay, protects wait. their brand. They, what wait, are they going to admit to it? Exactly. What are they going to admit? Dude. What are they going to? Oh yeah, because the Catholic Church was so fucking happy to to freely pull out weed out their own their own fucking criminals, their own rapists and molesters. Right? They were so these big systems love to to do self audits and be magnanimous and fucking altru- altruistic. 
I'm sorry, man. I'm no. sorry. I'm, fr- I'm no. so angry. Dude, I I'm told, angry I agree right with now. you. I agree with you fucking more than 100%, so dude. Angry. <laughs> <laughs> so angry. So angry, that little jerk. I'm so angry. Hey. It's just, it, it's so, I'm so angry. Oh, my God, you guys. Oh, my God. But isn't that true? Isn't that what we're talking about? Like, these systems, I... We're talking about one specific dude. Right. Regardless... But, but, well, he's a mouthpiece for the NFL in a lot of, of ways. Of course. Because well, he's, he's, he's like a big partner of no, it. He had he, the biggest. He had the biggest stadium at the time. He's a mouthpiece for his bank account. Right, that too. But obviously, and he'll... He, and, and a lot of the owners are like, I don't want to talk about this shit. I don't want to be part of this. I don't want to know. Right? I They, they want to Joe Paterno it. Oh, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't want to hear about it. I... I don't want to hear about. Th- I'm just here to. I'm here to run a team. I'm here to sell concessions and I want make to win money. The Super Bowl. I, yeah, I want to win the Super Bowl for my city. Yeah. I want to give back to the community the best I can. Blah blah blah. I want to sell more stuff at Home Depot. Arthur Blank. I was just saying because he's an owner. Home of course Depot. he is. Um, no, he's. I'm not. He's a nice guy. Sure, nice guy. Hey, I got a story about that guy. I'm not gonna. Hey, it's a little we'll share another time. But um, you know how that is. So it's easy to be. You know. What plausible deniability, right? Yeah, I I would not want to know if I were an owner. I'm I'm not gonna. I mean, isn't it hard to? It's kind of like the guy we talked about that with whom I work that has 145 yeah. plus IQ. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to know about that stuff. It's like it, you're one of the people if new if who if you care about knowing about it could help do something about it, right? The competent people. Are still want to be distracted from making things better or taking a little bit more effort, right? Consciously looking at something. That's why we do this. Plus, we probably like hearing ourselves talk a little bit. But I just like hearing you talk. I like hearing you talk. I've been, I've been very, I've been like loving your voice ever since the plate story. I'm like, oh yeah, "Mm, yeah, because I've been. Because you listen to it seven more times. No, no. (laughs) Three is a max, bro. I'm done. I'm done. I might I might listen it with the Megzi or something if she hasn't heard it sometime. But she hasn't heard it. She's listening you, to an I El be- Chapo podcast. Thanks, Megzi. I bet you Ava Dog has heard it four times in her dreams. <laughs> arr, 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 bark, 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 bark. Um, what's really funny is that um, Megzi's cleaning the pantry downstairs. She's amazing. She's an amazing woman. She's got a little earbuds in. I'm like, oh, cool. What do you listen to? What what music you listen to? Oh, I'm listening to El Chapo podcast. Oh. And she hasn't heard all of ours? <laughs> look at that crinkle look on your face. <laughs> Who's El Chapo? Bro. The El Chapo th- podcast? Bro. What? You think she listened to all of ours? Mm. I, I, okay. The last couple about the, you know, the thing, the t-shirts, I don't know if she's going to get past those. But anyway. Those are funny they shit. They are funny, but, you know, they're a little, they're embarrassed. They're I risque? Him, I could see her being embarrassed, and I don't want to embarrass her. I love her. And I'm in love with her. So, okay, so on the CT thing. On the NFL. I, yeah, well, do you agree? The, go ahead, finish. Oh, do I agree? There was a quote. Well, I never saw the movie Concussion, right? I also have not. So, so I, I wanted to watch it, but whatever. So I got busy. Um, the, I saw the preview like whenever it came out three years ago, and it really stuck with me. And it said the NFL own Sunday not even go- not not God the NFL and I was like wow that's that's a that's a big sentence and it's true in the United States for sure not well, globally oh, no, no, definitely course. in the United no, no. States obviously just the US right. I apologize no yeah. abs- no you're it's so still for, accurate the, for the Canadian listeners I apologize this does not apply to you and it could even be Can- it could be Canada I don't know when they play Can- football no, Canadian might like American football. Go Argonauts they have a, and go Argonauts? Well, they have their own football, but they might enjoy football as a whole, so they'll watch NFL as yes, well. Yes, of course. But but globally, we're talking. Internationally, yeah. certainly not. Correct. But it's in popular, the United just States, not, it, doesn't it seems know. like the NFL is more popular than God. Yes. Literally. Yeah, as is football, soccer, more popular in Europe than any other sport in the entire world, right? Soccer is yeah. the most... and. And has been shown to have the most cases of concussions in CTE now. In hindsight, they're starting to find. Yes, because anyway, yeah. soccer's a more global sport than anything else. Of right, course, but I'm like, just saying it's said. like the most popular and it's the highest. It's like the worst for it because there's zero protections yeah. in any way. Yeah. Man. 
right? So I mean, how it's do you, crazy. How do you, how, going forward, how do you address something like that when you have, when you have athletes that are, the way I might know it was bigger, faster, stronger. I mean, th- these kids that are going, they're 18 going into college and the linemen are already six, five or taller. Yeah. They're already 300 pounds or heavier and they can run a 40 yard dash in four and a half seconds at 300 pounds. Yeah. And all they do is eat and lift. Mm-hmm. And then you've got at least three years of college yep. and all they do is eat and lift for three years and they learn plays and they play football. And in my head this morning, I thought, Jesus Christ, they're, they're basically a human missile. Cause you've got six, five, 295 bearing down at you at 15 miles per hour. Yep. Plus the, you know, and, if, and with all the pads and shit, that's another, whatever, five, six pounds. I don't know. So, that's that's bless you my child that's that's fucking to say that it's dangerous is an understatement and of course in the coming years the kids are going to get bigger they're going to get stronger they're going to get faster because that's what the society has conditioned them to do because they want to play and in college college has become just as much a money hungry sport as a pro NCAA want to make money. Oh, the Rose Bowl, the Sugar Bowl, the Beach Bowl, those are all million dollar things, right? Absolutely. So they're pushing their kids to be badass athletes, yeah. to be weapons mm-hmm. to get the job done, which is win the game, which is to be bigger than the guy across from you yeah. and take more punishment than the guy across from you. Mm-hmm. I have thoughts. I'm going to shut up and let you talk. No, I'm please continue. I'm just saying I have, I have two very salient thoughts. I think is salient a good thing. I don't know what that even fucking means. I hope I'm looking. Can, can you, you continue? While I look it up. Cause I, I need to know that. I, I I'm just, not, uh, that I, my, the, right the, I guess my, I'm sorry for the rambling. The no, qu- no, the there is no is, rambling. There is only Zool. <laughs> Yo, the question is with, I, I don't see the kids getting slower or smaller. You know what I mean? I see them getting bigger and faster and more, bad and i don't see any technology being able to help them from a head injury perspective i just don't see it obviously i'm not a neurologist or a neurosurgeon or a neuroscientist or anything of that fucking nature but in theory the human brain rattles inside the skull and that can't be stopped so what do you do to address this problem yes so they are salient points that i have yes yeah please I had to look up what it meant. Um, one would be that um, really we'd have to address the parents pushing children into sports that are real contact. Okay, contact w- sports. Contact sports. I would say so. Not tennis. There would be a, right. I was going to go right to that one. Cause that's, <laughs> an, that's like seriously. That's an amazing sport. It is an yeah, amazingly competitive sport. It is athletic. It is strength. Endurance, balance, uh, uh, hand-eye coordination, a lot of really not contact at all. Yeah, you could get hit by a ball. Okay, shit happens, boys and girls, but that's rare. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you get tennis elbow before you get a CTE. <laughs> okay? that So that would be what it is. It would be that sport, uh, track and field. Right? Track and field would be good. You can hammer throw. That's not That's not concussive. Just don't get hit by one. Maybe not long jump because the landing might rattle you. Like honestly, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. triple jump, long jump, yeah. Um, hurdle, hurdles is more smooth, so probably that's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so maybe kind of gauge right. Have, but maybe have each sport have like a rating system of its CT impact, like CTEI. Right. I like this. So you have, because I'm a fucking genius, ladies uh, and gentlemen. I, I know. So you have a CTEI. It's a CTE index. Each sport would have its level. You look. You still are free to play the sport if you want. This is this is America, right? But I would see them dwindling away. I would see people consciously stepping away from these. If they saw the numbers, if they saw like a rating scale, 
you'd probably push your person into a one out of a 1,000 CTE scale in tennis. People still smoke, dude. Yeah, that's okay. But that's different. How is smoke it different? Is a, smoke's an addi- addiction. It's an addiction. You can still be competitive in a sport that's just not contact, right? Like you, you can still make your competitive nature be it. You can still be alpha. You don't think that Carl Lewis or uh, Michael Johnson or like Greg the Luganus. Fat- the fastest guy in the world. Usain Bolt? Greg, Greg Lugenis actually hit his head. He might have a CT. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot <laughs> about that when he Remember? bled in the pool. Yep. And yeah, they yeah. and he, I think he was HIV positive at that yeah, point. Yeah, he was. Already. Yeah. And they and that was like everyone was like because no one knew. They didn't know that chlorine like, could kill it. Right. Shit. Uh well, you know, I was also getting a cut and stuff. It wasn't just but whatever. Anyway. Um so you'd push them into so you like that? C T E I? Right? I love it. I fully support idea, this right? message. Love it. So it's like, hi, look, it's still choice. People are like, to your point, the warning labels on the cigarettes, they still smoke. You're right. But they're going to do it. it it's, that comes with personal, uh, f- that comes with individual rights and freedoms, right? Yeah. Beautiful yeah. thing. So let's, let's live with that. So CTE of 48 would be like field hockey for uh, or something. I forgot about women's field hockey. Field hockey is a big one, wow, right? Or something. Yeah. And, and it goes up and up and up, right? Or whatever. Yeah. Field hockey is actually probably higher than that. It's probably, I don't know what the, I don't have an index number. It's not, I don't have a QBR, like a quarterback rating. 19. And then a 19. Correct. Is it one out of 19? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But uh, we could do it ranked just highest to lowest without even having to and wear one we, would Without be, batting an eye, we one could probably would be do that. Like sitting at home on the couch. Yeah, one would be tennis, probably. And then 40 would be the NFL. Uh, if it's out of 19? No. I, <laughs> out of what? Out of 100? Uh, football would probably be in the, in the 70s or 80s. No, it would 80s. be like the worst sport and the least yeah, sport. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. So it would be like tennis at a 1. If it was out of 19 scale, football would probably be 19 as a ranking. Okay. Or soccer is up there. Uh, football, soccer. Soccer, football, whatever. Both. Um, they're both pretty much up there. Yeah. Field hockey actually is up there. Softball, I believe, is up there as well. Um, baseball, uh, not as much baseball. Well, there, there's less. Imp- they've gotten a lot of the impacts out of the game at home plate and whatnot. So yeah, that's, yeah, they've they've addressed it as best they can. Yeah, other than getting hit in the head with a ball, with fastball at ninety eight, that yeah. getting or getting hit from some guy who hit the ball at you. Yes, and you didn't get your you know the pitcher getting hit back. Right, correct. So it could be a bunch of things. Those but, are bad, dude. Oh, awful. I hate uh, watching those. I can't. I. No, I don't watch them. They might happen while I'm while my eyes are on it, but I'm not watching them. Anyway, uh, so that's my first thing. So a CTEI, so an index that ranks all the sports. You still have freedom, but I think that if you don't see it in front of your face, like movie ratings, if how do you how does the parent know to say, Charlie, you're ten. I can't. I don't. I don't approve of you going to a PG thirteen movie yet. I I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or I'll go with you. Not a bad thing, right? Right. Okay. Second, second addressing is football weight limits. Okay. Linemen can weigh no more than 275 pounds. Wow. Linebackers, 225, 200, something like that. Running backs, 180. You know Dude, what I mean? Yeah. Just make, make each position have its limit wow. and um the impacts would be less severe yeah no i know not not go away it can't go away but to and touch and stuff is not the answer not like flag, flag is not the answer yeah. no they know this right it's got a cte index that is it's got the one of the higher cte indexes now in in on the polls on the polls peralta <laughs> Index scale. The PPI? The, the P- PPS? The CTE PPI. Yes. The, the CTE Peralta Pulls Index. PPI. Okay. We're, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this idea. I think someone's going to take this idea. They're going to listen to this podcast, and they're going to steal the idea and make a shit ton of money, and we're going to be like, God damn it. Son of a nutcracker. God's darn it. Son of a nutcracker. Um, so C- CT, on that index, right, plus the weight limit, that would make sense. That would that would be the best. That's the best possible scenario. What are your thoughts on that? I love it. 
you're good with the weight limit thing? Yeah, I, I, I think that's going to be... And be healthier for the play, for the people, too, because those guys bulk up with meat and whatever, and they cut it down. Yeah, you ever see when they retire how thin they actually are? Yeah. Like, their walk-around weight? Like, the so, guy's, like, lost 150 pounds. Some guys don't... Some guys don't lose the weight. Some don't. They but keep eating, and they stop exercising. Correct. And it's... It's, Some do it's that. Just, it's it's just, it's like sad, right? But a lot of guys actually just don't exercise as much and eat a lot less because yeah. they just don't, and they just it just burns yeah. off. Yeah, Jeff Saturday, I on ESPN and and a couple of these other guys, Mark Schlereth, uh, these guys are like lean. Yeah. So so weight limits would make sense. Why not do that? Because they're just going to be that weight anyway. Yeah. That's their healthy weight. But people want to see that. The the the. The crowds the, that go to the, the games. They want to see the guy. I don't. I think it's idiotic. They want to see the to big me, guy. Yeah, they want to see the bigger guy, right? I mean, to me. Yeah, but if you make weight limits, I think people would adopt it at, uh, one or two years. They'd be like, okay, cool. Because the, the line, it's all by position. Yeah, I understand. So the lineman will still be bigger ra- ratio wise to everything. Because you could, right now, you could have a 300, 280 pound running back. Yes. Right? Like Derek Henry is like 267 or something. Because he's like six. Dude, this guy is unfreaking believable, man. No joke. And you know, I hate. I don't want to hurt it, but he could. He could be leaner. Well, he could yeah. Be, he could be leaner. Yeah. They just. You just have to have. You have to make weight. But I can't believe. I mean, because there's some linemen that are six six. So yeah. for them to be two eighty, I think is. They're gonna have to do some cardio, man. Right. So okay. So right now you've got. Most of them are what three fifteen, three twenty at least. Okay, so you take right, so you make it three hundred. I mean, you can make two seventy five is a pretty good number because that's a heavyweight in the in the UFC. That's the weight okay. limit for the heavyweight for UFC or super heavyweight. I'm sorry, what, uh, okay. heavy. I think it's a call. I think it's just heavyweight. Okay, it's two seventy five. Okay, that's a good number. Yeah, I, I mean, I yeah, I vote for you, man. I, look, I Brock Lesnar made weight. That guy's a big dude. You know what I mean? He made 275. He was like 260s, right? These guys are huge in the in MMA and they make weight. So, you know you're cut, you're probably cutting weight like just like they would, right? Like every week or something, but nah, not a cuz it's such a regular schedule. I think that that would the, would in think, the yeah, season they'd hit right. it and they'd probably continue Correct. for that. And it'd probably be healthy to have that like you you get on a diet like a month two ahead and you slowly get it down to the cut weight and then you run it. Like you could do it very healthily. You know? Yeah. If if you did have off seasons where you didn't where you gain it again, but most of these guys are year round now, you know, cuz they have to stay sharp. Cuz like any misstep or any if they're a half a step behind, they're they're a million miles behind. Toast. So um, so what do you, those, those two ideas work for you? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm down. What do you have? What thought you have any other thoughts about how we could help resolve that kind of thing? I, no, I think I, I love your ideas and I think there's no way That's those will nice. ever be adopted because money is so prevalent and the guys playing are millionaires. Right. The guys that own the teams are millionaires. The coaches are millionaires and they don't. They're willing to sacrifice their health f- for money. That's how I see it. Well, the cat's out of the bag. Okay, so here, here's the truth. Everyone knows CTE happened from football. Everyone knows this. Yeah. Like, so now they just say, everyone knows you're still playing. That's on you. That's how they yes, do it. That's, I agree. They're done. They're, they're no, the NFL is no, not, no longer culpable, in my opinion. The, the information is out there. Come on, people. Do you need to be spoon fed everything? Do you need to have your butt wiped? You need your uh, socks put on. You <laughs> can do this. You're big, big boys and girls out there. Come on, think. What did I? I think I just tweeted something. It's actually gotten some weird double response, and I mistyped a word. I stupid manipulated. Thumbs. Manipulated. Why did I mistype it? But basically, it was. We are all being manipulated. Please think for yourself. You can do it. You, you have the you power. Can do it. You and only you, and no one else can take that away from you. No one can take your thoughts away from you. Please think for yourself. I'm not telling you how to think. I'm just asking you to have thoughts or think. What you think is on you. I'm cool. With, you know, we've we're pretty we're pretty cool about that, right? We're pretty yeah, accept- absolutely. We may not agree. No, you and I don't even. Yeah, agree. Yeah, we disagree on all kinds of shit. We don't agree. Like on your index, it's full of crap. 
Yeah. What's the youngest age of an NFL owner? Do you know? Um, for uh, probably con forties, fifties. So fifties, probably. I don't know. Do you think? They had. Say, let's say he's fifty. Do you agree with that? Sure. So he's 55. fifty. That's let's pretty go. young for an NFL. Owner. Fifty-five. Let's fifty-five. 55. So the rest of the guys. I mean, Jerry Jones is like seventy. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So his. I mean, he could Louis die. He's in his sixties. He Easy. could. Jerry Jones could die tomorrow or yeah. in fifteen years. Yeah. Whatever. So he's not. I think he's still like chewing on the placebo, uh, placentas or something. So he's gonna live forever. Oh God. What? Sorry, okay. he's gonna live forever, man. No, he's not. Anyway, he, he's not. So Jerry Jones is not worried. About anything, okay? But no, the younger guys, the younger owners, should be thinking about the future. They like, should. okay, the cat's out of the bag, as Checkmark just said. What's the future of the NFL? Because my team, my money, my future, my family's future is directly tied. What are you doing? Just messing around with being, the video. You're being super smart. Oh. Everything, hmm, hello. So everything is tied to the NFL. My their trailer is hitched to the NFL truck, right? So who's trailer? The player? No, let's say the, the youngest oh, owner. Yeah, let's no, say I'm the yes. youngest owner. Yes, of, yeah, because it's your it's your product. Let's say I'm the youngest owner yes. of the Salt Lake City Argonauts. Okay, yeah. and I make a gozillion dollars, and I own a stadium, and my players make a gozillion dollars, even though my team finishes eight and eight every year. Whatever. Well. The future of my franchise and my success and my team's success, my family's success, my family's fortune is tied directly to the team and the NFL. Well, if the NFL suffers, so do I. So I've got to think ahead strategically. Right. I've got to think way objectively, way down the road, like 15, 20, 30 years out, what's the future of the NFL? Right. And the CT is the information's there. Like, oh, fuck. Are right. players going to keep playing? in the coming years because there's guys that are retiring at the age of 23. Yeah. Is that going to be more prevalent? Are parents going to be like, I'm sorry, Johnny, you can't play anymore because I hope so. you had a, at the age of, that's the point, right? At I the hope age so. of uh, 10, you had a concussion. You, you just, you have to play golf. You have for to play tennis. Sake, right. For your kid's sake, I would hope the parent would care. What, would so hope. will there be a trickle down effect? Yes. I'm sorry, a triple up effect, trickle up? Effect. It's trickle up down, you know, whichever Sideways. way, whichever way it goes. So there, will there be a trickle effect where will it be a cold trickle or a dick trickle? All the trickles. Let me add a caco. Let me add a ca. <laughs> Where's my Splenda packets? So Meow. that are those things going to directly affect the NFL in the in the coming twenty years? Yes, I can mm -hmm. speak to all of that. So what is that? Because the older owners are going to be gone, right? But the younger owners are they already thinking? Oh fuck. What do I do? No. I'll tell you. Well, they oh. did. They are. Okay. But not really. They are? What the fuck does that mean? I'll, if, uh, if you let me explain, I might tell you something. Please explain. I'm, I, I'm, I'm distraught. Well, first of all, I am completely confusing because I make no sense until I explain it 14 times because my communication One skills, time. No, my communication skills are awful. It's my fault. I will I, ban you from the treehouse, fucker. Am, oh, live from the treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, here it is. Most NFL owners, the NFL team is their playground. It's their sandbox. It's not their primary. It's not the Bidwells generally, right? Jerry Jones has money, at, bought the Cowboys with money from his wins. Or Arthur Blank is Home Depot. Uh, Wayne, Wayne Huizenga was waste management, for example. He doesn't have the Dolphins anymore. But most of these guys, American for the Jaguars, that's their play. That's their play thing. So they're they, so they don't care. It's not really, yeah. So I they mean, don't care about the NFL. Is it a much a money maker as is to like say I own an NFL team? It's a lot of ego, as much ego as money because they don't okay. need money. Okay, right? So, they're not okay. short of money. Okay, that's one. Well, that's one point. But for the Bidwells of the world, right? For the Bidwells of the world, it would make sense to squirrel away your nuts. Yeah. Or invest in something else. Like United Arab Emirates sits on, on oil. Diversify. They know that the oil is going away in 20 years or so. Well, they had like some projection 2030, 2040, yes, whatever. Yes, of course. So They're let's get solar specific. or something. Well, no. So what did they do? They built all those beautiful buildings, oh, Dubai hotels, and all that. Yeah. It's all tourism. 
high end island 90 percent of the gold 90 percent of the world's gold moves through dubai wow it is the i saw some weird statistic i'm just saying like they invested to your point they diversified they didn't just sit on the oil note because it's going to go away yeah so they took that revenue and poured it back in to their infrastructure and their stuff and now That's they're this genius buzz, because they know That's it's going to go away doing. right but the nfl right needs to realize that they could be losing this product it's one of two things they either realize it squirrel away realize it by you know by a football team or maybe stay in sports maybe go into entertainment right or to buy something else right tv station radio whatever or they hold on so tightly holding on to every penny as it comes in knowing it's going to just bleed dry and they can't they won't reinvest in it they just let it you know squeeze it out for every nickel that they can so what will be the last year of the nfl never i don't think so i Honestly, I think a weight limit. Imp Remember, I told you I think that they're going to all play from one central location yes, without fans, I was thinking and it's about all going to be televised. Yes, I have a feeling it'll shrink to like something like that, and it might have you know enough fans, a thousand people, just to cheer or something, you know, f to have a little atmosphere, right? Yes, to make it kind of realistic. Um, and the they may have weight limits at that point, right? Why not make the whole changeover all in one shot? Weight limits, th like it'd be more like not rugby. It would be like. But it would be um, it would be quicker because with a limit, there's no sluggishness at all, right? These guys would be really fit, and they could televise it and still make revenue with it, and still have teams. Or I don't know, I'm just spitballing. They would this. still make revenue, but not the revenue they're making today. No, no, it'd be drastically less. It depends if people watch it or not. Yeah, it depends that's if it's watchable. The key, of course, right? It really does depend if it's watchable. Right. And people might just be turned off by all violence in a couple of years. Who knows? Yeah, that's a, I didn't think about that. I mean, I, yeah, I don't, as the I older don't generations start to fade away, millennials yeah. getting older. Do millennials like football? Well, I, I, I don't want to use labels. I'm finding that younger people than us, um, yes, have different priorities. It, that's why I asked the question. Different, different culture. We, we are the last. I, it's my opinion we're the last. You and I, minus 10 years, you know, plus 10 years or 10 years younger, up to that level-ish, maybe, right, right around that area. Right, uh, We're the last with the physical world, meaning, like, I need to touch it. Like, the manufacturing's so important, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we're not the digital world. Like the, the quality? The, no, the transition from touching physical manufacturing yeah. to being digital service world. It, it's a totally different world, right? Yeah. We were all hardwired. We were all, yeah. everything was physical to us. Like, yeah. we need to make money. We need money. We need cash. We need physical bills in our hand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, yeah. they're all digital. They're paying with their phones. and Yeah. And that's not, um, that's not a criticism. No, it's just it's, a change sorry, in it's society. Just, it's a change in philosophy. I get it. I understand. Right? They're going from paper to, to the screen. Venmo. Right. They're going from the paper printout to keeping it on their iPad, right? Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have that. Um, it's, it's a different philosophy. They're not... They're, they're not, I don't think they're as interested in the, the bang, banging sports unless their parents, <laughs> unless, sounds like porn, dude. <laughs> unless their family <laughs> has some kind of ties to it. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I'm not seeing that, but that's kind of the feel I get. Like, no, you know, talk, I agree. Completely. No young people really talk football. Unless, and I was, do the if the NFL goes away, would, would they even care? You know? Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you. Remember, hi, I had 11 fantasy football teams yes, one year. Yes, I recall. I, the team that I grew up with last yesterday on college lost. And I'm like, okay. And today, football's on, and I'm like, eh. I mean, I watched yeah. like, tw I didn't watch it. It may have been on for a little bit while I was doing something, but I wasn't like, I was obsessed with sports. Like it ran the, it wasn't tribalism. I love the strategy of the game and all that stuff, but I loved the sport, right? It has zero impact on my life anymore. I don't know why. I mean, I, I can kind of guess just my priorities change. Right? Yeah, of course. But it's weird that they change that much. Do you but, want to hear about the, the conversation I had this morning? Yes, this is, uh, so let, do you want to close it off on that? Uh, that, then I have right? one other point oh, after okay. that. Okay. Which Very, one would you, is the last point more yes. better than, okay, cool. Yeah. Do it in your I'm order, not, sir. Yeah. I got it. Right. 
hey, we're in different rooms, bro. We've got a divider. Stop. Mm. No touching. No touching. So no touching. I, I chatted well, with a friend of mine. I'm not doing that one. I chatted with a friend of mine this morning, and she has twin boys, and they're 12 years old, and they both play full contact tackle football. So I, I wow. said, I said, I said, hey, you have, to, and I didn't, I didn't think about it until this, I was like, fuck, I need to call her. I said, hey, do you have time for a chat this morning? She's like, yeah. So we chit chatted about old times and stuff, and um, it was really nice to catch up with her. I haven't talked to her in a little while. I and, love that. Um, I love that we've opened up to people like this. Yeah, reached out to a lot more people that we yeah. started this. Yeah. yeah, I, I, dude, I could not agree more, man. I, yeah, I love that as well. So I was like, so I said, I'm going to ask you this and it's none of my fucking business. You can tell me to fuck off. You don't, you don't have to answer this. I said, so we're doing the podcast today on CTE. How do you feel about the boys in CTE? How does their dad feel? How does your boyfriend feel? And she goes, she goes, honestly, I really have given it no thought at all. I don't, they, they play in their weight division so they're 122 to 125. That's how much each kid weighs. And the weight division's up to 139. So they play in their division. And um, she says, uh, she goes, honestly, I've never really given it any thought at all. I haven't really read. I, she goes, I know what it is. I've read an article or two, but nothing overly thorough. Um, she said one of her sons did get hit pretty hard in the past year, and he went down. And... Uh, she ran out on the field and checked on him and he was okay, but he did, you know, she, she used the words, he got his bell rung. And I was like, See, that's, ding, 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 that's ding, not, ding, 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 that's something somebody our age would say. That's not, you know what I mean? So she said, um, maybe I do have my head in, maybe I am like an ostrich with a head in the sand. That's, those are her words. And I said, hey, can I, can I quote you? Uh, you know, she said, yeah. We're not doxing her. No, no. I, I, and she goes, I'm really sorry if I don't. I say, no, don't apologize. I said, I wanted an objective opinion. I wanted, oh, uh, I know, want the truth. I, what do you exactly, feel about it? Why, I, exactly. We are allowed to feel um, things, Exactly. People. I said, I want an opinion from somebody, from a parent that has kids in full, in, that wear helmets. You know, the kids have helmets and they look super cool in the field. And I, you know, I see that and I, I miss playing and, yeah. you know, I, tri oh. I loved my time out. The nostalgia of it. You know, you know it. I got, I played, I played neighborhood without pads. Well, yeah. We played blood bowl. I knocked, I, I ran at people <laughs> like as a running back. I ran at people. I didn't, yeah. I didn't shy. I wanted contact. Like I loved that. Yeah. It's worse because I had the same hits with, zero protection right so everything got like all my joints are just completely like for a floppled kerfuffled flip flops and flop flips they're, they're kerfuffled all that shit so that's just um she had a really uh we had a really nice conversation and she, but that shows that there are there's parents on every side of the spectrum and that she's she's like i so i said are you I said, obviously the boys love it. And obviously you're okay if they play it. She goes, yeah, of course they love it. And next year they'll be in eighth grade. And next year they will not play in a, in a weight division. They'll play their age group. Junior verse, whatever. Yeah. yeah, it'll be, yeah, junior JV, correct. So um, she's like, but it's, it's up to them if they want to play. Yeah, I get that. I mean, but the glory around it, I mean, everyone's glorified, right? So, yeah, yeah. So it makes, I mean, the kid's not. It's hard for the kid to say no. And there probably is still some pressure, right? Like, oh, you're so good. The e You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're like, oh, you play great today. Yeah. That, um, yeah. Yeah, of course. And I don't know that. But, I mean, that would make sense from a human perspective. That's how people, yeah, right? And, and you know, I go to, I go to the nihilistic part of me or the, the people equal shit part. And I, I'm not calling out your, your friend at all. But she, she knew nothing about like, Basically nothing about it. Very little. Right. Once again, you can't wake someone yeah. who's pretending to be sleeping. Right. Like it's not on her radar because she's not, she's not, it's not on her attention span. It's not on, it's just not there. Like it is like with us. Once again, 
you and I have to look underneath every, like it to our detriment. We've talked about this multiple times, right? To our detriment, we look behind the curtain and under and look for the strings and yeah, look, of course. But we find a lot of shit behind there when we look, don't we? Huh, yeah. With just looking. So, I mean, it, she's distracted because she's allowing herself to be distracted. Why should, you know what I mean? It's like not it, but it, that the, the the problem is it actually is impactful to her life. Unfortunately, I'm not judging her. I, she's, she can feel what she feels about it. That's just my opinion. Right? Yes. And I'm not blaming her, but that's unfortunate that she knows relatively nothing about it. True. And I think that that it goes to show that there's going to be ends of the spectrum regarding if I talk to a hundred parents, let's say there's a hundred parents in, in, in her, let's say in that league with all of her, with her kids, there's going to be some in on all spectrums like, Oh no, I withdrew Johnny right away. As soon as I heard that this or that or the other thing happened, excuse me, or I, you know what? He loves it and he's been safe and it's fine. Or it, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. And every what CT, I mean, she knew what it meant. She, she, right. so, I mean, yeah, you had to kind so of I, really live on a rock to not hear at all about uh, it in some way. Correct. So, but I just, right. if, if I took a larger survey, how many people would, yeah, I'm really aware and I watch 32%. him like a, I'm really aware. I watch him like a hawk. The first concussion, he's done. And um, I have another friend. That doesn't incentivize you to report it, does it? Well, if you, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, no, but if you, that could be really, I agree. I agree. I have one, I have another friend and he's got two boys. They're not twins. And, um, they both played soccer One, He, one kept the younger one kept getting injured like shoulder. And then, and then he got hit in the head, but he, he wasn't really bad. He's like, no, I don't, I'm okay. I don't have a headache. I don't have dizzy. I'm not, but he quit. He's like, yeah, I don't, I don't. And he started playing golf Yeah, and baking. I'm like, Dude, good for you, man. He's on the Great British Baking Show. He's he, the shit he makes, man. It was looks great. fucking good, dude. It was like the best. It tasted and so good. And that's all I have to say about that. That's all I have to say about. I have that. one final point. Whenever you're ready, sir. I am ready for all your points. Just Wait make now. them blunt. The last point: blunt force trauma, is something that one of the best athletes to ever live stated. The two sport athlete, Heisman Trophy winner Bo Jackson. I love Bo. Auburn football, Kansas City Royal. L.A. Raider. L.A. Raider? I believe o Oakland o Raiders. Yeah. I love it. Bo, was Bo a, knew. Bo knows, bro. He knew, bro. He still knows, actually. Yeah. He said that if knowing what he knows now, he would not have played football. Can you believe that shit? This dude won the Heisman Trophy. That is hard to believe. May I color that a little bit, though? Please. There's context, I Jeff think, Krantz? in my opinion. Remember, I look behind, people look behind the curtain? Yeah. What did I right, right away do? Look behind the curtain. Yeah. Remember his football injury, though? No. Well, he went out of bounds and looked inoculated, so he fucked his hip up. Remember? Oh, I don't. He couldn't play after that. Don't he couldn't that. play foot, baseball. He came back, tried, and he... Oh, I did. Yeah, he got injured. He was out. He shouldn't... He didn't retire because he was old. He was in the prime. But he specifically talked about CTE, dude. It had nothing I, to do with. No, what I'm saying is he can't. Can't one say if I knew what I knew now? Oh. But see, now that he's also been out of, he lost his career due to a hip injury from football. He could still use that as his. If I knew, I wouldn't have done it. Right? A regret. Of course, dude. Right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We're human. We do that sometimes. Yes. So I'm. I'm trying to. Put it within a range, like within context. Bo Jackson's career ended when he went out of bounds and like fell awkwardly on his hip. It broke, it shattered in some weird spirally way, and he never recovered from that. He had to, he had to quit. So coming back in hindsight and saying, "Well, if I knew about CT, I would never played." Well, he lost, he he was injured in playing football anyway, so it may have already tainted his. Right, by, but it may it, have been a biased. <laughs> Dude, response. a hip injury is not going to fucking make your brain get crippled. No, my point is... I understand your point. My point is he lost his I understand. His, his ability to play anything, even baseball, because I of know, football. I get so it. he could just be bitter, bro. I get just it. Just saying. But it is very telling. It is telling that Bo Jackson, of all people... And he also... Because he's a two-sport athlete. He was... 
the alpha. athlete. He was he was, he was Nike. alpha everything. Yeah, he was everything. He also discourages his kids from playing football. I don't know if they do. The article didn't say. That's smart. But I, I think just, he knows. He also knows the pain they play through. He knows all the other stuff that they inject you with, right? Yeah. Like the, the movie The Program is like one of my favorite college football movies. Are you familiar with that one? I James am. James Conn's yeah, yeah. the coach and like they the guy takes steroids and then he gets a urinate a whizinator uh, <laughs> to, to switch out the pee and the other guy like he puts all his money into his talent and then he loses it, you know, so he can't play anymore and it's just uh, the ugliness of that, right? Yeah. Like any given Sunday to some extent, but right. the program was really telling to me. Like blue chip, right? It was almost yeah. like just the behind the scenes, that ugliness that they the exploitation of those children that are malleable. That's What's the one with opinion. Dawson's Creek? Uh, I don't want. Your I don't want to live your. I don't I, want, I don't your, want life. your life. I don't want your life. You mean DJ? Do you mean Diplo? Have you seen that uh, that show yet? No. What show? Uh, James Vanderdouche. Yeah. Is in a show called Diplo, where he's like a DJ. It's the funniest thing that didn't go past two seasons I've ever Damn watched. It. I'll, I'll share I just like the one scene with the chick in the Cool Whip. Yeah, it was Varsity Blues. Yeah, Varsity Blues, thank you. You're welcome. I get that in Friday Night Lights. Yeah, mixed and, up. and Bubba. Yes, Bubba. I got protect your back. I got protect my cold back. And he's number sixty nine at the strip club with the Bubba. teacher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's all I got to say correct. about that. Well, it's an excellent point. Um, and also, Jane Vanderdouche is also phenomenal in a Kesha video. Just so you know. Oh, the blow video. It's got unicorns, bro. You should watch that I one. I don't. Let's never hey, talk can, about her. Can, uh, can we do a? Can I get a little? You can see this. They can't. Can you do a little of this? Show it off. Yeah, a little showing off. Because I think it's time. Oh, stay, there you go. I think it's almost time, right? Is it time? Bye, what, Felicia. What was your last point? Was that the last point? My last point is. Oh, last point. What does everyone else think? Uh, what does everybody else think about the future of the NFL? Do we, as humans, encourage kids not to play contact sports? Can safety measures be put in place to protect kids, young adults, adults of both genders? What can we do? How do we make things better? Do we, what do we do as, as humans going forward to help stop these things? Because this is obviously going to get, I think it's going to get worse. Am I wrong? Is it going to get worse? Before it gets better. Where do we go from here? You guys tell me. Well said. Well asked. Um, to that end. Yes. Yeah. We want to know what you think. I don't. I don't know. It's a tough one. Because you and I believe in. You know your individual rights to do stuff. I, I hate. Telling people they can't do something. That. That's. I. I it's probably one of one of the mir one of myriad reasons I did not have children. Right? Is like I don't think I can tell people to, I don't think I can tell people to do stuff and like stick to it, right? Right. I just feel like a dick. And so I'm I'm torn between the safety of of the humans that are playing. Yeah, they they do know the risk, but they don't know the risk because they didn't ex they haven't experienced it yet, right? So they think they're invincible. Right, right, like right. We go into that all the time. Youth, you know, youth is wasted on the young, isn't it? Like Whoa. the wis because the wisdom's not there. You know, they they have to experience to get there, but then by the time they experience it, now they're old people and, or uh, older, and they've gone through their shit and. Wouldn't it be great to have that wisdom plugged into that youth? I mean, yes, into that young of course, body, right? right yeah, you do, you 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 live differently. You have different outlooks on the world. You really yep, would. It's all true, man. Nothing, nothing beats experience. You can read every article on the internet till you get to the end of the internet. I appreciate the end of the internet. It <laughs> it is not. It pales anything in a comparison to taking a trip to another country. Just for example, just just that. Nothing. True experience is where it's at. I concur. And with that said, I think uh, we got to show that shirt again. We're going to show this shirt twice, aren't we? Do, are we? do we have a war, wardrobe change before no, before no. the BG? No. Before the, you could be dancing, BG time, ooh, BG ooh. time, double E, double O, double G, G, G. Nice. Um, Chair is squeaky, bro. 
Would you? <laughs> it's yeah, squealy. Would you like to uh, close it out, sir? Yes. Be excellent to each other. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are back on video. Did you? Did you do? Hey, I love you, man. We're like the best. <laughs> I know, huh? Hasta luego. Bye. Oh, <sighs> listen. First of all, subscribe, subscribe download, no, rate. Whoa, whoa. You got <laughs> now. You gonna be a robot? No, I gotta be a robot. Come on, please. Please leave a comment. Rate, review us. We're we've we're over. Uh, we're crushing it, and we want reviews because we're Ooh. not. We don't have as many reviews as we have crushed out downloads. We're like, just it's a, the ratios out, and we need your help. Please leave a comment. Help me, Obi Wan. You're my only hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. everybody. Thanks. But can you say that? Be that. Be excellent, excellent to each other. <laughs>